All right, so like I said before, you guys are in the Chantry currently. You just fought the individual, um, kind of looked like a dirty Sherpa. He was a little bit crazed. Um, you guys had originally fought some sort of wood construct, and then Charlotte, or not Charlotte, but Scarlet broke down a door, and apparently the individual was over there possibly puppeting or yeah. controlling it somehow. Uh, Jeb's feet got messed up. Looks like you could have got messed up in the, uh, what is it, lower legs as well, but that voodoo doll seemed to sink into the ground and uh, get... Interfused between the wood and what have you. <coughs> well played. Uh, Scarlet is currently in her uh, large cougar form, and she's willing to take you around, but all of you guys do look fairly beat up. But there's still a handful of individuals that are escaping. I thought there was a... There's one individual that's alive, I should a, mention. Right. Okay. It, it seems as though normally the other one, was it you'd imagine he would have died from shock. Right. Uh, but he is partially fused. It looks like... His vital organs up in his upper torso are outside of the wood, but from the hip lower, right. I mean, he's fused with the wooden floor but paneling. But he's still alive. He's breathing very rapidly yeah. in and out. Okay. Um, it does seem like he is in shock, but he is not dead at the moment. Okay. Uh, so can if he you didn't have access to magical means, you just, he's dead. Right. There's no way to help him. But with magics, maybe you could help. So, Jeb, do you want me to transpose him out of there, and then you can try to heal him? I would also note that some of you yeah. that have taken um, damage in the fight with the, uh, what have you, the flying polyps are yeah. slowly bleeding, but it's only been less than a minute, okay. so it's it's not significant. Okay. It's kind it, of like, it, just think that uh, you've been, uh, like, severe road rash. So you're oozing? In certain reasons, you're oozing. Yeah, severe road rash, I'm holding my other hand. Well, that's because you effed up a... Um, a fold space. And it was mostly because you were blinded you're, by you're, a lightning blast. You're, you're, right. Right. you're right, it would have been much better to get torn to trudge by wind. Yeah. No, I, I'm just saying. It's, yeah. it's the fact whatever that you, you want to do. The fact that your last yeah. hand is self inflicted is the only With thing that marginally makes it okay that you blinded the Was it because of my hearing that was kind of preventing <laughs> So what was that? When La Na was speaking. You have no okay. idea. Originally, when they were pulling La Na from the um, casket, so you could not see him whatsoever. Neither could. What is it? Neither could. Have a psychomorph. Browning, Spike. and also the professor couldn't see Lana initially either. Although, you know, in physical combat with things so often. Exactly. Oh, I'll show you guys. A, what is it? I found you would all the time if you had a psychomorphic hand. <laughs> then you'd be like, I'm a sword. <laughs> <coughs> then you'd get the yet to be like, um, your hand is now choking you. Looks like you bastard. <laughs> uh, I also will, will redact um, with the yith, your question was kind of worded. Uh, Poorly, I suppose, based on how much time he had left. But I imagine that his intelligence would be enough to put together your pieces about what you might have wanted to ask about. Uh, so he would probably tell so you that your level of return. <laughs> I will answer yeah, you. Anyways. You asked him to get information about the, uh, the plateau of Lang, and yeah. even though I couldn't, like yeah. he would start logistically. He would go through like the things you might not know. I would make. It was, I assume that he would make, be able to make Sherlock Holmes level deductions and answer things that you did not ask for immediately, okay. uh, even though he wasn't actively reading your mind. With the time left, even though he didn't have very much, he would tell you that the star Alderaan is an anchor point, and that's when he would die. Die. Well, die. His body got ripped apart, but from what I understand, they swapped the... Uh, His avatar died. The, they hop from bodies to bodies. He had mentioned before when B was talking to him that he would finish the bridge and then he would be moving forward in time to the rest of his people. And you said Alderaan? All, uh, not all, is it Alderban or something like that? I'll double check. <laughs> Alderaan was the story. Alderaan's already <laughs> down. <laughs> but now it's him so he's crying out for help. But now it's Naker <laughs> point. <laughs> I made my auto hypnosis by five. Okay. That's why I was asking. And we're so Alderaan Until I'm I like, describe oh. a few more things, we're kind of paused because there's yeah. stuff that's way in the future when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it happened a long time yeah, ago in a galaxy long, long far away. away. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but since Eat then, it. since then it's recoiled. Far, far away. So what you is know. it, Alderaan? Uh, I will double check here. <laughs> I like Alderaan. <laughs> <laughs> It, it rolled off the tongue, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds familiar. Like, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Oberon? Shockingly so. Eberron. Eberron? Yeah. yeah, sure. We destroyed Eberron in that Abafuji. Abafuji? Did he say Abafuji? I like the way that rolls off my tongue. Uh, Aldebaran. Oh, that's like a L. Alda Baran. Destroy the star. Baran. Alda right. Baran. Yep. It's like Bahrain. So, as I said before, some of you are, you guys are fairly thick. You have high pain thresholds, so luckily you haven't had to deal with it. But, I mean, you guys are, you would be at the point where soldiers would start to pull you out of an area. Um, 
There's the individual that is dying in the floor paneling. You don't know. It seems like the fact that he's fused with the floor is stopping him from bleeding out, but obviously it's only a matter of time before either he dies of shock or um, his most likely shock initially would be the first thing that most likely is going to kill him. Uh, there could be leaking blood somewhere in the floor panels. You're not sure for certain. Uh, like I said, if you guys remember, most of you are fairly injured. Uh, what's his face? Browning is not here, you assume? I thought we were dragging him around. You were dragging him around, but then after was it when the fight ensued? Uh, Jeb told was it um, asked was it told Browning to get out of here, and Browning said, "Take me out of here." Oh. And then what is it? Take me and Zy- was it um, Jeb out of here? And then Jeb's like, "I don't want to be here." And then you saw him threw back into okay. where the hell he came from with the smoke of um, was it um, brimstone esque yeah. smell, and he was just kind of not so gently tossed back okay. into the region. Scarlet will most likely kind of offer to pick you up onto her back. She's in her. Um, what the hell Primal is that? Cat. I'm trying to think, what's a he? Was it He Man's cats called? I can't remember. It How seems are you that only a little older than me, and you. I thought '80s references, man. '80s references. <laughs> huh? Did you live in a shelter? Yeah. <laughs> there was, he lived in the van down by the river. <laughs> When we were moving, Is that an 80s reference? <laughs> when we were moving, there was a time we had no cable, and the only thing I got was "Are you being served?" and "Pappy's Land." Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I know a lot of "Are you being served?" references. <laughs> well, you got Battle Cat. Is it Battle Cat? I'm not sure. And then what was Battle Cringer? Yeah. Uh, Thank so you, Wikipedia. Either way, you know Guardian of uh, Bubastis. Scarlet also knows that spell, and she can turn into a large uh, cougar feline form. Sure. So you guys had just tore up that individual that's on the ground. Um, it looks as though he does have some ill-gotten goods on him. You can see what appears to be quintessence um, holders that are most likely taken from down individuals. Um, you see that he do- is holding up a staff, but he wasn't using it when he was doing magic. Right. Um, it does look ornate. It might have came from a novice, but... I think it's cursed, so, people. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like order. Uh, like it looks like order. Throws like, no, no. It looks so, like order Hermes equipment. Like he's literally uh, picking from the dead. Let's set up a perimeter. B. Okay. Barton. Set up a perimeter. Okay. Let Tan transpose this guy out. You can try to heal him, and then we can all try to get healed up afterwards. Okay. So we can continue on with the mission. All right. Okay. okay. <coughs> we have a mission now. Yeah. To try to oh, save yeah. people. Out of hypnosis by five. You can get your plus two. That would be for auto hypnosis by five. Okay. And I still um, got to heal up myself. Auto hypnosis scene as well. The individual that's in the ground is still breathing. Right. Um, from what you understand, uh, what have you? I would say that um, uh, Michael Larson would have gave you his communication stone. Yep, you said he did. Um, so you I, all, you, you all you guys know that you what is it? You guys have had those before. I'm not sure if they ever got put anywhere. They got. They might be sitting in a black box somewhere. I don't remember that they were ever told. You might have not been there for that session. Sure. I think you've missed the most regarding yeah. the, the Chantry, but at one point in time, the, the okay. I think when you guys were... Because I would have kept a communication stone. When you guys were there, I don't think you were there for when you, you sealed away the... Uh, no, when you sealed away um, the Star Spawn. Right. Were you there for that mission? No, what? Not, no, at that was not at the end of it. Not at the end of it. That was... Right. One of you two then would have been given a communication stone, and you know you can hold on to and address it and try to send a message to anyone else that has <coughs> a similarly linked stone. Okay. Uh, so you'd have one of those. If you didn't, Larson would have gave you another one. Yeah. So you know that Larson and a lot of the other people are doing crowd control. From what you understand, the tribunal members are fighting, apparently, the king in yellow or some sort of aspect of mm-hmm. the dead god. Um, how he got in here or other things of that nature, I mean, you can try to make guesses. They're uh, killing Frock a second time. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> Supposedly somebody matching Frock's description had um, come within the chantry, and that set off a lot of flags, but apparently shit hit the fan immediately after that. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Let me check something here. <sighs> How many people have we saved so far? So far, you've Zero. probably seen... There were people that were passing oh, by you. Arguably, they might have made it out without your assistance, but you were coordinating them heading down the correct um, chantry ways. There's been about 30 people so far. Most of them have been under the age of 18. You've seen probably one or two novices kind of moving around the area. Uh, supposedly, this is a 
fairly secure zone, but apparently some people have made it past this point. And given the layout of the Chantry, it's difficult to track someone that's moving through them. I mean, everything's meant to stop people from coming into this Chantry kind of webway, but once you're in, it's difficult to... In this kind of a panic. One of the tribunal members, or uh, Michael Larson, would be able to track down somebody pretty quickly, but given the current events... Yeah. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Damn it, where is that thing? So evidently, I, well, I stopped at Arby's on the way here, yeah. right off 169. They were so backed up, so I grabbed my sandwich. Dude, nothing but roast beef on it. It's like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were so backed up, they didn't care. I was like, hurry up and get it out. There are no scales. <laughs> 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 Just make sure they don't come back. Yeah. Uh, they were they were jacked up on that 169. Hmm. But at 6 o'clock, it was flowing quick, though. Okay. They're moving through. Yeah. Last time I, I hit it up at five and it was just. I can't find the email up. at all. Dum dum dum. Um, I'll double check my email. So. How oh, Jane's just um, she's not sure where that one thing is. There. Yep. Her character. Yeah, pause the recording really quick while I handle that. For movie ideas. Okay, so we're picking up. <laughs> like I said, Jolene's going to get her character. Um, so to you guys, we're kind of in pause <coughs> mode because there are some things that are time sensitive right. depending on what you want to do. I need to start healing. we got to get this guy out of the earth. Right, right. you guys set up a perimeter, I'll get him out of the floor. Got yeah. my laser gun on. What is your perimeter? I'm down one hallway, he's down the other. I can't really go too far. He's, he's gonna be You're not too so far from a T-junction. He's down the other. I can't really There are probably at least eight doorways that you can see where theoretically somebody might be able to come out. Neil from what I understand, you can look down one direction. Yep. There's also the T-junction, which if you guys want to just can, watch the T-junction the other way, there's only two ways to cover. But That's what we do. Okay. I can throw up a deflect harm and deflect prime. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. So otherwise, the individual in the ground yeah. currently is still alive. Oh, Gyrocket, gas on gun thing. No, you lost that. The one. carbine? Yep. Okay, yep. Of course, the, that's the version MI5, that's correct. Why not? Browning gave it to me. Yep. Didn't he just take it to make the portal? MI5's <laughs> been doing a lot of weapons research. Apparently, <laughs> um, their current circumstances have been accelerating their weapons technology development programs. So, of course, will do that. Is it yeah. a submachine gun? Or? Uh, it has a rate of fire, I want to say eight. Um, whoever has that original list, I can send it out. I think I gave it to, to you. I again. think I have it on. Oh, okay. okay. But I there's these stats on it. It is rapid fire. So we'll fire multiple rounds. But what skill would I be using? It'd be a... I think that one is based on the uh, Tommy gun, so it's actually a rifle. Really? I thought the Tommy gun was a submachine gun. It might be. It it's whatever gun. It's whatever that skill would be. Uh, you can default from gun's rifle to Tommy gun or pistol. Oh, I, have, I, have, I have both. Said, I have to open up yours and then open up my file. And then there it was it so a recent file? <laughs> so, so it's not lost? <laughs> no, um... I don't have Best. my thing, but the pal, the, the one that he said didn't oh. work, you have to open up Ian's version, then open up yours, and then... And it will over. fuck up your file if you open up your file now. from Ian's and the right on there, and then yeah. it has changed my, my power. Oh, yeah, the, there's extra code. The other one wouldn't know to do it. <coughs> it deletes it, actually, because it then you op- if you save it in the original, or it pre-saves because you took too long, and then you open it in yours, all the power... and that sort of skills based on power disappear. Oh, yeah, it would have nowhere and to enter. It seems like it also randomly deletes things, too. It's I'll just like, you. what you have like I said, I, I altered what? somebody else's code that took like two years and probably about an hour, so I <laughs> I don't offer any warranties. My, my why, bad guy. Why did bad. You Sounds like you got hired to make a healthcare program. <laughs> <laughs> Except you didn't get the $600 billion. I don't think I was hired at all. I provided it as a, for free? I did it for free. I provided <laughs> it as a free <laughs> service to the PCs. And so far, I've had no problem with it, so surely it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the spells, because I'm not sure that the, the difficulty level is pulling up through correctly. Okay. I'll take a look at that. Uh, so, there we are. I got the old method. Uh, B, and who's watching the other direction? <coughs> has to be Barton. Barton is. Yeah. Alright, you guys have an aim action. You're watching the square in which people can come in. Hand, uh, sure. You can brace it, but I would say that you're at, uh, what the hell is it, two-thirds of your normal strength? So it's two-thirds of your normal strength? Maybe you want to use a rocket pistol. I'll use a rocket pistol so I don't have to. Do you can't that. brace it that well, but yeah, you could use a rocket pistol. 
Well, no, what I'm saying is you wouldn't get the full like bracing bonus because you can't really do much with that hand. I never brace. Okay. I, I only yeah. recently learned bracing was a thing. Yep. So, uh, currently watching, you can occasionally hear kind of noises. There's one or two people that kind of filter out occasionally. Uh, they do ask if you guys need any help, but I mean, you, you could ask by people that probably have less abilities than you. You're looking at 16 year olds, what have you. I'm not waiting for them to set up the perimeter, so basically, once we say that, I ask you, are you ready for this guy? Yeah, that's right. From what you understand, this is a kind of a low threat <coughs> zone, but there are people moving about. Okay. I'll um, use a Foxfire to create a transpose signal. Okay. I am going to try to intentionally control the heat of the flame so that it creates a symbol without getting it super yep. hot. It generally doesn't burn people, but it gives people the illusion that they're burning. Right. So a lot of times <coughs> when you throw up a large fairy fire, people do kind of have to cover their eyes. And I'm pretty lenient about it because I forget, but right. it, I'm just it does to, do that. Yeah, and I'm just trying to make it maybe like two foot in diameter. Okay. You know, something that kind of hold, you know, like he, like he could stand on, that sort of thing. So the fairy fire, or fox fire... And so success by four. All right. And you can give me a symbol drawing. Draw a symbol. And the symbol drawing is there is only because you're using another spell to rapidly create yep. a rune. Yep. If you did it out by hand, you wouldn't have that much right. of an issue. <coughs> so I got that by three. Okay. Seems to be pretty decent. Um, actually by four. Oh, it's pretty and good. Then, uh, a lot better than your original runes. Yeah. Pull on my transpose glove okay. from Angus. Basically touch him on the back, and then I transpose him into the circle. Okay. He's currently somewhat like fused with the ground yep. below him, so it might be tricky. <coughs> On yeah, top of the circle. I respect that it'll be tricky. But uh, I'm adjusting to put his feet up, you know, kind of. Okay. Have him drop up. Are you trying to disentangle him from the wood on the blocker at all? No. I'm willing to bring that section of wood with him. You figured that's most likely what's going to happen. Yeah, and that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with it. It's just it's extracting him from the floor, and then I trust your healing is going to push the rest out. Hopefully. I haven't even done mine yet, but hopefully it'll So I'll use the transpose. So I'm going to get nice. that by, was it, 6, so by 10. By 10. So the critical success by 10, does he think he could on a molecular level? I know nothing about medicine or diagnosis or anything like that. So the I'm thing is, he has to not only that. create the effect, like draw the sigils, but he also has to have an understanding of what he's doing. All right. So he would have to have an understanding of and the atomic anatomy. structure or human yeah. anatomy for him right. to be able to do something like that. If anything, he's like, I'm concentrating on the little granules. He could easily yeah. kill this man. All right. Um, can I see some dice from you? The individual seems to be is a bit of a shock to his system. It seems like not every piece of him comes up. I mean, there's still some skin and what have you. Um, he's still conscious. It yeah. seems like he's still not died from shock yet, right. but um, he's still rapidly breathing. Uh, you can do a perception check, Dusty. <coughs> Visual or just straight of perception? Hmm? Is it visual or straight up? Uh, it's visual. Okay. Uh, it's straight up perception, actually. Okay, so five, eleven, so by four. Um, four. You'd notice that there was a a few other sections around the sigil that you drew teleported, and you don't know where they went to specifically. Okay. You're not sure if it's because... <coughs> I would say that you're pretty confident it's not because of uh, the wards in the Chantry here. You imagine that you might have built up some bad juju in the previous location. You kept teleporting without any kind of um, sigils, and the location was pretty thin on the weave. Okay. And I suppose you get somewhat of a bad feeling, and you don't know how high it's gotten, mm -hmm. and you might have accumulated a little bit more for trying to teleport somebody with just the hand. Right. Okay. So. Okay. I'll dismiss the symbols. Yep. Pull out the chicken bones. <laughs> you see me blow off. <laughs> <laughs> you see it on your head. <laughs> Did you really make it so I couldn't save new libraries into your GCMS? <coughs> because it won't let me. I have to contract the administrator named Ian. Oh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, the no, I didn't. <laughs> so I got an entropic predictions by eight. <coughs> you have slightly less than when you had your critical mass happen at the uh, English okay. library. You imagine that something is going to happen. Okay. It's just when. Okay. Uh, luckily, though, it seems as though you built it up fairly quickly without it detonating. Okay. Uh, so you'd be looking at currently 90%. Okay. Uh, you're aware that some readings can go up to 200%, mm -hmm. 
but generally those people like that's yeah that's it. Okay, I'll let you guys know. You're off limits for a little bit. I'm huh? tapped on magic, so. <clears throat> So the, the, the kid needs to be out it. still, right? The kid has teleported successfully out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll try to heal him. Uh, any pluses with uh, Scarlet? She'll currently give you a plus three. I'll get Gertie out. All right. I'll take over. Why don't you go loot that other guy? He's got magical mm-hmm. equipment there. Make sure he's I don't want to loot him. <laughs> You're a pussy. Go ahead and identify her. Pop off a primal this flare. Point, and I just want to leave the chantry. My four. Can you pop a primal flare so I can pull his obvious magic items off? You can keep him stable. Um, probably it's going to take at least probably I'm an hour to fix it up. Can you imagine? Paradox. I'm going to laugh. Um, My primal flare because at I your sh- current rate, so it's going to take an hour. It makes your paradox go boom. Yep. Um, I'll try one more. You think that this is an ongoing process? Okay. I mean, if you want to try to amp it up, then I'll try to amp it up. So I'm going to cast the primal flare at the guy we're apparently shooting. So it's gonna take about an hour for him to heal. Kay. You know that this effect isn't as powerful as some of the other ones, but it doesn't build up paradox Primal like some of the other spells do. By eight. Uh, it seems as though it's uh, what is he? he has probably about twelve um, vials of quintessence from various sources. Um, it seems as though he has a staff that seems to be magical. You can give me a thaumatology. I can see. He's that. also there. Yep. Everybody can see the primal flare, right? Eleven. I would say he's in the room, so whoever's <laughs> not immediately right, working guarding, on that guy. Thaumatology by three. And while he's doing this, that means that you'd yeah. be watching the far. Are you watching in the corridor? Yeah, right? I did. I did say that. He's like. So then you wouldn't be. Magic monkey. He's in the other room right now. You don't have up? access to the thaumatology. Are you gonna pick it up? So what was your thaumatology by? Three by three. Um, there is some sort of defensive rune on the um, the staff. This I'll does pick up look all the like it's since I'm pretty much. Like I said before, it, this all looks like order equipment. He doesn't have necessarily anything terribly good on himself. I have two quintessence um, left. You imagine this okay. is somebody's staff, and this is quintessence. <coughs> you should write it down. Dead. So how many quintessence? Twelve. 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 And they're in a can I crystal do a, vials. Can I do a big primal conduit on three of them into my person? Okay. Well, well, do you, how many do you have in your person right now? I have two. Five is my full. Okay. Okay. And... Based on thaumatology, do you want an alchemy roll to make sure there's no negative resonances associated? You didn't with see any with your thaumatology, but there could be there. Can I do an alchemy roll on, on it then? Because you'd have to test it alchemically. Well, I thought I learned primal flares so that I could use my alchemical knowledge to be like, nope, that looks funny. Yep, in in, in a lab setting. What I'm saying is you'd have access to other pieces of equipment. In the field, your primal flare gives you a visual detail. You can spend longer looking at this. It's just initially when you look at it with your roll, no, it doesn't seem like anything else is an can issue I here. burn anything to make the primal con other than quintessence? Willpower. Oh, power. I want to so I'm already down to. Um... <coughs> yeah, can I burn a quintessence to make my primal conduit better? And just yeah, it'd be by two. And pipe in four instead of... Uh, so you're so, trying to. So I have two. I'm going to burn one and then pipe in four. Yeah, that's fine. You just burn one from the whatever's in the reserve there. Okay. So you'd burn one from your person, draw in four. It just you would. I'm getting a plus two. Yep. Yeah. Maybe one. I think it's a good thing I did that. So I'll turn off two, the magic so that I have on myself. By okay. four. Those effects are currently running. It's um, only probably within the next couple of minutes where you might have to recharge them, which that could be an issue. Um, so far, the things that might detonate that are um, shortcuts in magic yeah. or other effects like that. But it is, I suppose, uh, the place that you were at <coughs> definitely allowed you to pick up a lot more than you should have been able to. That's the first time that you've really fought a lot of shit inside of a, a Yith site before. Yep. And you don't know why they're like so that. So when my primal flare went off, was, was I glowing extra strong or something? Um... Not in general. I would say that there was a... So you're ready to uh, find What your the hell hand. is it? Any effects that you had running were visible. <laughs> it looks like there was some mild yours? effects that were deteriorating off the individual. Um, uh, well, most no, likely dealing with matter so and uh, stuff like paradox. that. Uh, there's the objects he had no, on his person, was, which looks like he looted them from the order. Well, I meant myself. I don't look... Like it's not like I'm glowing even though I'm on essence for our... Okay. There's nothing terribly weird. So There's a faint drone, residue, I mean, what might be a kind of a spiritual uh, particle that's so left in the areas that got. Just to burn it off, um, maybe? 
Uh, God, did you at all get hit by the, um, the flying polyp again. wind? <laughs> you haven't seen anything <laughs> other than probably go there's some right spirit right. part, or is it some spatial I particles? That's what your <laughs> hand was. Yeah. So I can go into the umbra. Pipe in the, I pass by four. I can get okay. to do the umbra. Over the course of probably can 20 seconds, you can pull it in comfortably into your person. Now you're left with, what is it, eight vials and then four crystal containers. Eight. What are the crystal containers exactly? It holds the quintessence. So you have eight of the quintessence, which are in those crystal vials, and you have four more, which are just empty, but could hold a quintessence. Oh, okay. Were there any other items that besides the staff that uh, had a magical Geppetto essence has. on it that he would have noticed? Like I said before, that seems like that was all okay. that was on this individual. There was some effects that were on him that are breaking yes. down. Um, it looks as though uh, there was some matter manipulation and other things in the room which kind of penetrated the far wall. Um... You would tell that there were some life um, magics and some matter magics. Um, also, a minor correspondence effect. So, if you want the staff, you can have it. It did have some sort of defensive or not. So, you didn't pick it up? I have not. All right, I'll go pick it up then. Yeah, I, this I, looks like some sort of Nova's staff. It's slightly better yeah. than one you have. You're not sure what the, um, the defensive magic is on it without spending more time. Yeah. So. Are there any runes on it? There are a few runes on it. So um, speaking runic, or you can give me a symbol drawing roll that's perception based. So that's by three. Um, from what you can tell, the staff has a primal ward, uh, at least drawn into it. You're not sure if that's the act of magic, but there's definitely one here. Okay. Um, there are the bonuses. <coughs> uh, was it pertaining to drawing symbols with this staff? It does. Look like it's attuned to a person. There's some sort of true name written on it. You might be able to find out whoever this was. Uh, this staffs are kind of your um, dog tags in a situation like this. And um, it does look like there is a rune attached to it that may add to its defensive properties. You know that staffs apply a, their parry bonus for certain magical effects. Mm -hmm. So if you were to deflect harm and use a staff as the origination point, it'd provide the plus two parry bonus. Mm -hmm. And I think only two of you are using staffs right now. Is that yeah, correct? I got one. Yeah. All tuned. I parry with it. I draw sigils with it. <laughs> well, a lot of times you've been just teleporting. But well, yeah. But if, the, I, if there's a mass of ethereal <coughs> wind coming at you, you might not want to yep. deal with that. But if you have the right spells, you imagine you could just throw exactly. that shit off. If I had spirit stuff, I'd just been like, oh yeah, yeah, I own you all. But I have. No uh, Michael Larson spirits. seems to be fairly adept at wards, and there've been multiple occasions where he's just created a dome around people. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, like I said, you can stabilize the individual. He does fall unconscious, but he is alive. If you leave him to his own devices, he, uh, he will die. Well, somebody will kill him as yeah. they walk by. Hey, look at the that guy. could potentially <coughs> happen. If I see anybody walk down recently, I'll flag him. There's a young woman. Um, she looks maybe about 19. It's hard to tell. Uh, long hair, brunette. Um, she's wearing glasses and kind of one, one braided ponytail. She does have a staff with her, but she kind of looks over at you, and then it seems like... You step over here for She'll a run over. Is everyone else all right? <coughs> she seems to obviously be... She looks like she's probably like an early novice, yeah. but she's obviously not prepared for this. Yeah. She might be a scholar. Okay. Everything's just fine. You can calm down a little bit. The area is secure for the moment. Do you think you could help carry this individual back to safety? Uh, I, I can. There's, um, there's, some, there's, there's some shooting... Uh, over there, um, okay. I, I don't know anything more. Okay. Um, some people were being attacked. Why don't you just wait right here? We'll go deal with that in a minute. She says, "All right." All right. I need to get my you get your feet up. You need mobility. What direction was the shooting from? Uh, she tells you kind of an intersection past a cafeteria and such and such. Okay. Um, you know where it is roughly. Okay. B, I kind of shout out to you so you can kind of have eyes on yeah. that, that direction. I'll You're ask. probably about 15 minutes at a light <coughs> knock away from there. That's getting kind of closer into the combat zone, yeah. but you still think you should be bite. on the other side of bad shit happening. I bind wounds by nine on myself. Okay. Uh, you can work out over the course of, depending on, I would say you at least have two minutes while the PCs are doing various things. Um, from that, you can repair, I'd probably say, five on each foot. Um, if that brings you past the normal amount that would require to uncripple it, mm -hmm. you can mark it as uncrippled. Other than there's wood fragments, it's extremely painful, and it's like there's multiple splinters in your foot. Luckily, I think you have high pain thresholds, so you can just be like, yep, there's all kinds of splinters working themselves out in my, my feet. I'm okay with that. What's you could walk on it. It would just be exceptionally painful. I need one more, <coughs> one more go to get this one up. 
Doing you don't have to make another roll. You just need to spend another minute. Mm -hmm. of I just want to get it where I, I'm uncrippled, and yeah. so I can go full Before straight. the girl walks away, she's I, currently right here, and she yeah, is assisting. She's um, not going anywhere. Until, I'll ask her if she knows of it. If the chantry is grouped like a group of healers over yonder, uh, for she a says that back. she points out the designated zones. Um, um, several chantry entrageways um, across Europe and uh, what have you. The areas that they had told the you to evacuate people. Yeah. Supposedly there are triage centers farther back in the direction that you've been escorting. I shouldn't say escorting. You've been mm -hmm. rounding up and herding cattle into that direction. So supposedly they could heal you up there. Um, it's a little bit off and it may take some time to heal you up, but it's... I'll spend the extra time to whatever get I, you guys I decide like on doing. We should get probably high. make a pit stop before we... Jeb will take care of us. You don't need to let your dress blow. You can't regrow a hand, you bastard! I you can't regrow a hand. Well, you don't think the, cha the chantry... <coughs> like, you guys go into the chantry for a day and then you yeah. magically get something back, but usually that's several hours long process. Yeah. You're getting the hand or prosthesis attached. It's only a hand. You're having it attuned. Man that's... Getting a replacement hand would not be Don't something... You some unless you're planning on not doing anything. Oh, no, I used exactly. them all on you bastards. I haven't used them in a long time. Patch won't give you a hand back anyways. Just man up. Deal with it. Actually, you still have the arm, right? Yeah. Could I try to bind the bind the arm back together? Put it on backwards. My arm was fine. It was just like... You have the extra part, right? Yeah. I could try. It's pretty badly smashed out. Could I try to... Yeah, maybe. You think you could. It. Put it on backwards. You usually don't have the uh, <laughs> matching parts. Usually you're just missing one just straight up. Seven by... Three. You're not playing. You're doing work. Seven. Seven. <laughs> ten. By right, ten? You can get it to uh, fuse back on. You'll end up healing two HP. Um, the hand still is crippled. Um, you imagine you could get it fixed. Within probably another few minutes. I'll do it. I will think. You happy you got your girlfriend back now? So, two hit points, and then tell me how many more I get because it matters. Uh, for the hands, you would get back, or is it for the hand, you would get back how much it was it? You made it by, by, by 10. Over the course of probably two minutes, you'd end up getting back uh, five for the hand and probably five somewhere else. Um, so five total or five plus the two? Five, five plus the two. Five plus the two. So five and five. So I'm, um, okay, every game 12. So the hand would be functional now. Okay. I mean, <coughs> it is red, sore, and other things of that nature. You'd probably have a minus two pain penalty, but I think you have high pain threshold too. Nope. <laughs> You're in a minus two pain penalty if you try to do anything with that hand. Um, you could try to study a weapon on it, but depending if you try to block or something, and that pain penalty might apply next turn. Is you're like, oh, stop it from hitting me, and then you realize it extreme, it hurts again. Um, B and you Hunter, have you have heard matters. it's faint, and obviously it must be going mul down multiple chances. But you guys hear pop, 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 but it's very faint. Yeah. Um, you can give me a perception hard armory for you two at least. Yeah, I'm gonna do fast race. I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna bother. Set up mad cat armor. Fight eight. You do have armor. I don't. <coughs> okay, so you, you get a plus a small arms or four, just anything. Uh, small arms, perception base. But it is difficult. Uh, you four. get a plus four to your next dex related roll. Yep. Can I get some healing over here, Jeb? Yep. <coughs> At least to stop the leak. You're fairly certain it sounds like some sort of strange three out six round. It's not a fifty cal, but is it a bar? It might be, but. From what you understand of the Chantry, that might not be terribly effective. Deflect Harm is one of the main spells that they teach mm -hmm. initiates. Sounds like a bar. What's a bar? Probably Probably not a bad bad bad. I did his by nine, apparently. Um, so God. Why is... Yeah, it is... The in, she'll take care of the individual that's on the ground. You guys have probably spent about 15 minutes... If you guys want to heal fatigue points that you've lost in that time period, if you're not fit, it's one every ten minutes. If you're fit, it's every five minutes. If you have breath control, that could theoretically give you it every two minutes. Probably not less than fatigue, <coughs> but I don't need it because you don't keep track. How much do I heal up? Uh, <laughs> That's no, I, I do. It potentially could be it. <laughs> I'm going to nine. Nine. The chill end up healing. On this horrible. You'll end up healing <laughs> nine points of damage over the next minute, said. and that's where we are at 15. I've lost you can theoretically health, heal up a lot of these injuries. Not They're not pattern damage. It's just how many minutes you want to spend down. We'll do it. We'll get everything so there's no... There should be no negatives that we go against it, so... 
pretty. I don't like all. bar fire here. That that's nobody that's attacking. That's nobody that's defending. Could be some magi or yeah. something that's got. Could be one of those in. crazies. It's definitely mechanical and technological. Uh-huh. It could be you know somebody in a. I have deflect arm that I could throw up. I'm afraid it might not be shooting. Like, do you have an extra laser gun? I only have one. Okay. You, you can have mine. <laughs> Would you only have, have one extra. Mine? Is it? Is it? I have extra? one laser gun. Okay. <coughs> Well, so you got the Tesla, right? How far is the sound? I can kind of give you the Tesla. Yep, I can give you a Tesla. You How far is the sound? Yeah, I'll take the Tesla. I guess you, you had heard initially. I suppose as you spend another minute. I need um, a Tesla. All right. It's roughly, you don't know how, it could be coming from all sorts of different directions given the layout of the Chantry. And the Chantry hallways aren't the same distance every What's direction. It's roughly in the Past direction that... Three, you can't restrict it. Gotcha. It's roughly in the direction that the young woman had talked about. But it's hard to tell. Yeah. It could be any number of webways heading off into that direction. So I spend the time to hill everybody back up to normal. Those okay. rolls seem to be How going well. far are everyone down? I was down 39. 39? I, after the original healing, I'm down two. So. Two? I got myself back up. I don't need to be healed all the way. I'm happy to, once the blood stops, keep going. Get you back up to normal. Just in case you do take massive damage again. So with the extra <laughs> healing, <laughs> do I still sure. take a pain penalty or anything? Or? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, so if you end up healing up to full, it's a little bit sensitive. I would say it wouldn't be providing you a combat penalty, but like in a uh, mundane setting where you didn't have adrenaline running through you, you'd be. So if I was left-handed, I'd be like, you know, it is. No, what I'm saying is, there's a minor amount of pain, but the adrenaline currently in your system that would be making up for it. It's so just have, if I you're out of combat and you're like picking a lock, you might have a so minor amount of arthritis. Well, your your hand was smashed and magically regrown. Pseudo Some of the nerve endings are still trying to tell you, it's like, weren't we just smashed? What's going on here? I'm freaking out. <laughs> Everything look okay? It looks okay. It's still kind of tingly. All right. So, how much did you want to heal up? Everybody's I'll go by ten minute increments. So, is anyone... How much do you heal for 10 minutes? Uh, depending on his role, it okay. looks like he's generally been healing people. This is a slow process, and usually <coughs> can heal people up. Um, Liberté knew a, a rapid one, but it caused massive amounts of negative energy to be built up, because he could just lay his hands on you, and you're like, boom! There you go. Um, you also are aware of an ability, uh, depending on whether or not you put it in, Cats um, could have taught you shake it off. No, you don't have that one on me yet. Yeah, that wasn't on my list. It was, if you remember, in session, uh, yep. Yep. they said it, yeah. offered to... Uh, I haven't added it to the list yet. So you don't have that one once, I, once I have the opportunity, I'll do it. Okay. It, it doesn't reduce damage so much as it converts it to blunt trauma. So it's a lot less paradox. Faster to heal. I don't think we should put any in you. It'll just make whatever happens if you blow up worse. That yeah, might not. It might actually help. Um, otherwise, the next ten minutes, you can give me another... Well, plus, uh, if I screw up conduit, it will add... I'll say the professor is helping you with the bind wounds. So we'll double your effects. So that's nine, five, eight. Okay. Can find it, Joey. Uh, no, I'm having to remake it all. So you were what down two? Yeah. I mean, after the original healing, down two. Yeah. Okay. So you would end up healing your full two. Like I said, you're fine, other than the um, mild damage. Or was it the mild sensitivity in that hand? Uh, you would be back up now. Actually, I'd be down because i got to go to positive as well if you're going to take him there. That would be 54. You'd end up healing 18 in the next 10 minutes. Okay. And during that time, do we still hear the... Faintly, I'd probably say for two or three minutes it disappears, and then you hear it again. And it's fairly frequently. It only happens every once in a while. Okay. I'll keep if anything, on. I'll give you a tactics... Hey, I Perception based tactics, I would say. I'll keep healing Dusty or Hunter. I'm guessing I can hear it if it's repeated, yep. right? So. Originally, it was only those two that heard it, but all of you can give me a perception based tactic. Okay. Uh, 14. 15. 15. Uh, since easy. Steely is an easy spell. Tactics easy. by 7. By 7 perception based? Okay. I did by two. By two? Uh, B, you would say that uh, there may be more than one person because some of the gunfire seems to go, or was it, it's indicative of maybe one or two people, maybe more, uh, firing. Um, from your perception of tactics, 
it seems as though it only happens every once in a while, and it seems to be moving around. Uh, it seems to match roughly how many times you end up seeing... It gives you a feeling that somebody might be coming across survivors. Executing type thing. Oh. Let's move, Jeb. I don't need to be healed in on this. Yep. People are dying. Uh, you've only seen a couple, probably about six or seven people over the last 30 years. Was it 25 minutes that have come through? Okay. Uh, so it has tapered off a little bit. All right, we'll go. So is there any glass near here, like plexiglass or anything? Not plexiglass. Uh, like, you'll say the doors there's glass on some f- there's some glass on some paintings in the hallway. Okay. Painting. Can what I pull the painting down and pull the painting out so I can see through it? It's TV. Yeah, with it would be glass with a frame. Take beam. So gotcha. here's what I'm thinking. You we probably have a, a three feet by uh, was it a three feet by oh, a so foot and made? a half frame with glass. So I'm thinking we do the fold space snake to find where we need to go and we put this in front of it so, I mean, they can shoot through it, but there's, they can't punch us or something like that ridiculous. And then once we see something I'll lose the fold space, then we go get them or I move the fold space back. I'm just here where they're shooting right over there. I'm just gonna lock Are they that close or how far it's, away? I think it's about 15 minutes away. You only think the reason that you can hear it is because it's some sort of Overpowered Browning round, so it might be pretty far. Come on, people! I think we I'm should I'm use full space. I'm not crippled up. I'm not pacing you guys. All right, I start. I'll follow, follow Hunter. Hunter. Okay, if we're walking, um, I tell the young lady if she can drag that guy back. She'll try to bring him back to the location. Um, shit, uh, she probably probably mentioned the descriptions of two magi. She doesn't. You don't know them, but she says if you come across them, just to tell her that she's going to be at this particular entry point, probably in a, um, Eastern Europe. We'll try to do that. Yep. She thanks you, and she seems to calm down a little bit, and she kind of slowly, kind of manipulates the man out of there. Um, it seems like she knows enough healing magic to keep him stable while she's moving him, even though she's dragging him. Um, you don't have that effect up and running anymore. Which one? Um, no. no. no I'm yeah. not trying to, I'm talking about No, I don't have any effects up around right now. Every once in a while, you guys hear a creak. Um, I mean, it, like a building settling. Scarlet and, um, uh, what the hell is it? Scarlet and Puddin really don't like whatever's happening. They'll just stop her once in a while, and they seem to kind of scatter, and then they get their nerve back. They get their nerve back. Scarlet's a lot better, I suppose, about that, but Puddin right away will try to kind of look around and then I'll she'll get... I'll ask her what it is. Um, they feel as though some of the rooms are lifting up or lifting down or breaking off the further you're going in this direction. So they're... I suppose they're getting uncomfortable because their footing is being moved. Or getting close to the rift, probably. It, Let's try to get up to the sound of the gun. You guys oh. are starting to hear occasional gunfire. There's probably been three shots over the last two minutes. Have you guys traveling? Professor, can you keep your sense steely? Or I'll ask her if, he, um, if she thinks it's Levandy. Yeah. Scarlet doesn't yeah, smell any Nefandi. At least she's not too far away. She has what she identifies as there are smells that smell like that individual she attacked. Um, they do smell of the plateau. Okay. I want to throw up my barrier. I, I have you guys are probably about a block and a half away from where you last heard some of the gunfire. Um, you'd start coming across what appears to be bodies. Most of them are younger uh, magi, but occasionally you see what appears to be a novice. Um, the professor did bring up uh, Razor Sense Stealer. Okay. Uh, you can give me a uh, per- use it. you can give me a perception roll then with your sense stealing. Mind barrier by by seven by seven. Okay, just mark that down. By six. By six. Uh, there are dis- there's a powerful uh, spherical spatial ward that's in place around a large area that roughly used to be where the entry point near Nepal used to be. Um, you are in kind of a pocket dimension. You are aware of that. It seems like some of the wards are broken down here, so there might be the possibility that things can get in that shouldn't be able to get in. Um, you can also tell that, like I said before, since this area, the only thing depicting gravity and um, what the hell is it? 
the direction of gravity and the distances between places are all these magical effects, and it seems like they're breaking down. So you're entering an area where you could come across zero G or rooms that break apart and the distances if you guys get split up could drastically change. Meaning you could walk across a hallway and there could be a break in one of the wards and now you're 50 feet away from each other. Right. So you're aware of all that. It's relatively still stable here. Um, there are a few signatures. You occasionally see teleports. It's hard to determine who it is because you only see the signature of the light go off and then it could be anyone really. Can I use fo can I channel Foxfire through my staff when I have to do symbol drawing? If it's a symbol drawing spell, then yes. Okay. Could be done. I've been I, doing it all the time. You might have learned a gesture based version though, and that would not be applicable. Oh Foxfire? Yeah. I think you might have learned yours through the cat, so those are gesture based. The only thing is you don't need a symbol for those. So you don't have to draw anything for it to make it happen. No for Foxfire, no. Yeah. But no, I mean for, if I was gonna draw a, a disintegration symbol, I would have to I was wondering if I could channel the Foxfire through the... But that's the right line. If it's a gesture spell, then no. The Mew Sigil, you could... Uh, uh, for the Mew Sigil, it's too difficult. So it'd be mostly symbol-based spells. A lot of stuff in the Chantry, though, is symbol-based. Yep. All of their shit's orderly, and it's easy to learn if you have an understanding. It's the one good thing about the Chantry is uh, all of the shit's in fairly good order. Um, like I said, the bodies are coming across. Occasionally, there is a Novus or two. Um, there are other... Can you check them for magic There things? are other injuries from what you can tell... Um, like what it appears to be lightning, fire, even kind of acid and wind kind of damage. We don't see any bullets on these individuals. No, he's inside there. Okay, sorry. It seems like okay. everyone that's kind of laying in the core, I would say 80% of the people that are you're coming across now it could have be died fly, through rifle sure. fire. Right. Um, it's like so there are some individuals that look like they had been in previous skirmishes and just didn't fully recover. You will occasionally see people that have been shot in the back, but a lot of the novices look like they've been shot just straight in the chest. Um, the shooters are pretty decent. It looks like they occasionally hit the heart and lungs, but obviously I haven't been trained specifically for that. Um, Don't worry, Barton. I've been shot in the heart before. It's not that bad. Um, you would see... I suppose you can give me forensics. And this is a quick forensics. If you wanted more information, I'm something you'd spend time, it would just be looking. I did it by six. <sighs> I'll give you that one. Are you checking them for magical gear or Barton? No. You should be. I'll scan with my monocle. Six, also. Scanning with your monocle? Yep, that's still... Unless... Is your goggles... Is, is, for, is this forensics perception? It's easy as well. Is this oh. forensics perception just, based? Straight up. Straight up. I can't remember what that is. Alright, so excuse me, it's just normal forensics. You're so whatever you have it as. So it's IQ normal. Yep, it's IQ normal. Mm -hmm. so yep, he I'm, is. I'm just waiting for... Do you want a primal flare? Apparently I'm supposed to be looting these people. <laughs> It would slow you down if you're planning on trying to, or unless you just throw up a flare and see if anything glows. That that's yeah. They've got monocles, so let them just use their monocles. They can just okay. Visually, see otherwise, what oh, the forensics broken. rolls by? Oh, I said Jeb and oh. Professor. Professor has a monocle. I don't think the professor has a monocle. No. Then Jeb does. Just Jeb right now. Um, you can give me a perception check, and you might have not realized it initially, but it looks as though something broke yours at some yep. point in time. You said a perception check for him or me. Excuse me, um, a perception check from him, but what was your forensics rolls? Six. I did it by six. By six. Well, he had six. Um, yep. From what you understand, a lot of these individuals look like they were in combat. Um, some individuals look like they were shot in the middle of the hall, and it seems as though they look, took, as though, it looked as though they were trying to defend themselves, but for whatever reason they didn't dodge out of the way of gunfire. You don't know why, specifically. Because they had a... If I arm up, and then the bullet went through. The bullet um, went through. By three. By some three. Bullet. There's occasionally it's some... Um, there's or occasionally bullet, some quintessence bullet. vials that you can see or on these individuals. Bullet. It seems like some of the lower Can't staffs be have bullet. not been taken. Um, you occasionally see what appears to be uh, minor wards and other things of that nature. I'll try Frankly, to talking, you guys could end up spending as much time as you wanted I'll try picking up wards from the dead. I'll try to clean up as much quintessence as possible. Um, identifying those uh, along how far you've gone so far of the 10 minutes, uh, you could probably collect about 25 yep. in the various senses. Just more of if there's you know, easy, powerful things laying around, we should gather them up so the bad guys yeah. Is there out. anything else that I can see? It's that surprising because a lot of the novices don't seem to have their staffs here, and those are usually enchanted. Okay. But you can see that somebody has roughly padded size, rolled over the body, and padded the other side, and then left. It's because he's collecting trophies. Or a sharpshooter. 
Uh, but as I said, there are various wards on these people too. It's just I'll collect them all, but I'll I'll take the twenty five quintessence. If you're collecting everything, it'll take probably close to about two minutes per person because you're looking at trinkets, objects. Yeah, yep. Imagine your character and all right. the shit that you have on you, yep, right. and then you're now looking at like, well, what is this doing? It's like a small voodoo doll. What does it do? Let me look. Okay. And then uh, so and so. Ward of unseen. What's that um, at? And what? Where the unseen is average, um, it protects you from certain invisible forces and uh, spiritual presences. And of the elder sign that I have, is that of the sun? I believe so. That would be, and that's shorthand. That's really what uh, the Nick from Los Angeles called them, and I'm using that. So They're not okay. actually called the father son or that's the elder sign. Supposedly predate Christianity, <laughs> so it's just his convenient. Actually, excuse me, except um, the Sigil of Ameth. That one actually is from the 15th century. I don't think I have that one yet. That one's so hard to use in the field, it's so elaborate, it's usually for trapping demons. And oh, is that Banishment? Huh? Oh, no, that's Banishment. Spirit. That's Pentagram, right? Uh, pentagram can... Pentagram stops magical effects, yep. so it could house a, a magical being. Um, a Sigil of Ameth could seal a demon away. Yep. Um, depend, but it's always relative to power. Brownie, come here, what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it works. So, gotcha. like I said, you're about two minutes off from the location that you last heard the gunfire from. Um, that's about it. You can continue okay. going off in that direction. Keep going in that direction. Bodies. Trying to watch out in front of us for the sniper. You come across an individual, I would say with your perception forensics, both of you guys, since you rolled the same. It looks like the individual, uh, both of you have thaumatology, you can give me a thaumatology roll. Oh, that's Scarlet. This is the smell of the Geppetto looking guy. Is anybody watching our six? My, my light by eight. spell, is um, that eight. continual light? Yep, what about it? Is that continual light? My light spell that I learned? Yep, um, oh, it, it'll last a very long time. This is the puppet master. Um, yeah. Huh? Probably. No. It is even it's out. another even one. Out? It is. You're not quite Star sure. Is verified. Um, okay. You see that there was a, there's like sigils drawn in somebody's blood, like they didn't have their staff on them. They're trying to do something, so they'd have to physically draw it out. With an aid, it looks like one of the novices tried to heal himself, but with blood match, it's a sigil. Oh. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's what he had to draw with. Yeah. So it looks as though he took um, a pretty grievous wound to his lungs, two shots to the lungs in one region, and it looks as though at some time later, possibly even after they looted him, he managed to draw a healing sigil. But for whatever reason, he never completed it. It looks like it's done. He but isn't healed now. It never happened. I'm looking. Can we complete it? Maybe this is like his revive or something. No? It I'm looks like a, 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 heal symbol. a healing symbol. I'm going to a different body, and I'm going to dig in the body with my finger to find what they've used as what the a slug, was. slug to do this penetration if there's anything. Because it might just be force or something. Okay. Yeah. You'll have to give me a dex-based forensics. The other thing you could oh, dex-based forensics. You should probably just ask Ooh. if there's a huge exit one. You might not even have one. Is there a huge exit one? On this individual, as you pull him back, um, there's a decent exit wound and it looks like it penetrates the wall. You want dex-based so forensics. Huh? So you want to go dig it up. How long does it take to put on Snake Man? Right? Oh, yeah. I'd probably say about a half a minute. Uh, my adamantine with acrobatics, a half a minute, otherwise two minutes. <laughs> I'll, I'll put on my Snake Man armor and put away my... Okay. He's changing his clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna go look in the wall for the slug. Right, do you have some sort of tool, like a dagger, I have or what have Adamantine you? axe. I'll okay, cast a okay. primal flare kind of to look for like there. a glowing slug. If I can. Yeah, one end of it's impaling. So. What's the and one end of it's impaling. It's like a pick. So Fold you, space. I'm picking. I'm shaving. I mean, it's adamantine. It's average. Like, makes me better. I'm over there shaving the layers of wood. Minus one. Average. Oh, too far, I can see. I don't even play. No, sorry. It's hard because I have the sigil thing. Hard. You said your perception was what? No, nice. 16. No, oh. 16. 16. So. Um, uh, Remind me to. Right. My primal flare was by four for kind of in the area of the bullet, kind of looking for. Oh my god, B, don't touch that. It has death touch on it. You don't see any magical effects in the wall itself. Don't touch your combining magic. Um, <laughs> what was your forensics by B? You still want deck space when it's in the wall? It's going to be deck based. I'll just put the flowing robes back over the. It, de- it, it depends. It's IQ based. If you want to take your time, you pull out a baggie, you do everything else. Yeah. Right now, I'm assuming you're trying to get at whatever the hell it was fairly quickly. Yeah. So there's a risk that you could damage whatever's in there, but maybe it's, it's okay. a lead object. It didn't even up. Even up. Um, as you're digging around, it takes some time for you to kind of get in there. The Admantine definitely kind of. 
tugs in, but you're not trying to damage whatever's in there. Um, pulling it out, there's apparently what some sort of fractured white powder, but you get the bulk of what appears to be um, the tip of a uh, 30 out six round. It's just it appears to be a silver-like crystal. Keep it. Why Keep not? It. Was it glowing when the flare went off? Take Max back. I'll give it to you. Actually. When the flare was off, uh, something the it took him a while magic. after that to get that out. I'll do another one. Then. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing so else. Flare by two. For your the object he has in his hand, hand barely even registers. It, you can see B's hand straight through the material. Okay. So it's not magical. It's just a silver bullet. I'll give you X back. Uh, otherwise, at this point in time, Dusty, the Professor, and uh, Erickson, who is not here. So Dusty and the Professor, um, you guys hear after that second was it? No, after that second primal flare, you guys hear what appears to be kind of a jingle jangle of like a, a something or other come from probably about three hallways up off to the left. I'm gonna try to fire up my force field generator. My okay. Tech one. I start moving down the hallway. You know, once you kind of flip a switch and kind of hold it in the direct direction, <laughs> it is up and running now. Oh. You guys see that? Yeah. Do you mean my shield? Yep, the one that Riker built. You'll be Riker later. Why did you put this my on there? Why box that, that I got a jab that looks like a small engine and it started up. It's powered by dark fuel fluid. And uh, it creates a uh, force field that is probably, oh, what is it? I want to say. Uh, nine feet, or was it? I think twelve feet by twelve feet by twelve feet. Yeah, I got it written down. It cut into the walls. Oh, uh, it what? Yeah. The I force field effect seemed like it partially burnt the concrete. Whatever the hell it's powered by. by you imagine a yith battery. <laughs> Sixteen by twenty-four foot cube. Sixteen so there you go. to twenty-four foot cube. If you fire it up, that's what you get. Yeah. Um, it hits the walls. You see the power meter goes up a little bit, and then it goes back down after it's burned through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll not use it. Then I'll fire up my shield. Okay, the shield pops on. Okay. You, you're you fairly confident that probably could stop a truck hitting it, but once the object is running, it's difficult to move. That bullet went through it. <laughs> All right, I'm moving down the hall towards the noise. Okay. I, as I start to move up to I will also move down the hall with him. Professor, watch our six. All right, so what's your rough formation then? You guys are up. I'm going to be on the right side of the hall. He's on the left Stagger side of the hall. I'm near B. And I got the, you have the gun I'm going to have this kinda... engine out on a trolley. Not started. Just have a look. You have a trolley in your trunk? Uh, I, better, I better check. Head <laughs> cart. Hand Seems cart. unlikely, Hand huh? Cart. No, I know what you're you do. You might going, bam, it's right there. <laughs> you <laughs> might have been able to fit a small dolly in there, but a trolley, I'm not. <laughs> like a whole fucking... She, she's got one of those little... Uh, Things they use for the movers, you know, for inch movers, the little tiny dolly. The thing. caster wheels? Caster wheels, right. And then a pair of blocks. So she's accounting for one. No, I don't have anything like that. I uh, grossly overestimated my ability to have stuff. So. No. Well, there's a lot of shit that can fit in there. It's just volume wise. Like, yep. Now you're like pulling out things as small as a like, medium sized bed. So there you go. Fucking clock. Yep. <laughs> You could set it out here as a fallback point. It's just no. it's a heavy device. I think it's like forty pounds or something. Yeah, like I leave it. Put, put it away in my extra dimensional space. Okay. Did you want something to hide behind? She's got it. She's got her arm. Right. All right, let's go, Captain America. Okay. It's been fairly quiet so far. You haven't heard anything yeah. else. I'll ask Scarlet if she smells anything. She says the area you've been coming across has a smell. Not exactly that same individual that was in that room, but pretty close. She says it smells like Lang. I do tell the professor to watch her Six. behind this. Yeah. All right. Ultimately, you approach keep, the keep intersection. You can find a few more bodies that look like you've been shot. No, it's most of the stuff that's from Lang Spirits. Clear the hallway. The individual that Scarlet attacked, she smelled. He, see, she said that he smelled like Lang. Um, he's fairly tangible once you actually got to him. Okay. Is there any way to ward ourselves from these other their spirits? You're not sure if they're spirits. The last person you came across appeared to be a, a mortal. Did your um, knife indicate that they were spirits? My knife's destroyed. They're not spirits. My knife was destroyed when I was in the Dreamlands. It was eaten. Yeah. Like, eat your dreams. Eat your dreams. dreams. In case they're spirits, I have a spirit ward. Okay. Well, you guys I, got are, I got several spirit things. You it's guys are roughly thing. where that area is. It's just around the corner. All right, I peek around the corner. Gun barrel. You can give me an initiative check. Damn. Random question. 
So on your spell list, when it says sigil drawing and you have gesture, is your gesture just because you have to draw the sigil, or the kind of why do you have to draw It could be a gesture instead of a sigil drawing. Uh, it depends on the spell. Which one are you looking at? I just if the top one says sigil. A queen gate. Do we get the Cthulhu no. Advantage? Or oh, like all the top ones too? say that. No. Yeah. Oh, you so after you've yeah, drawn the reason. sigil, it requires a um oh, a gesture any, ritual to open it up. Any it any it also says invocations, but that was just the spoken. Right. But any invocations 18. are spoken. Yeah. So, yeah. so it requires you to draw a gesture while speaking type thing. Depending on which one it is, I don't think there's any that are gesture invocation. You can do for them. Well, you have Aquinas Gate, Arthong's Lever, Blade of the Hydra, Blink. Codify the space, collapsing fall. Well, what and what are those? Spells. No, no, no. I know they're spells, but they're what does all, it say? They're all sigil drawing, parentheses, gesture slash invocation. So I'm wondering if it's either a sigil. So or they're a invocation you have spells. To pick one. Um, there are different versions of it. Generally speaking, those you have to draw a sigil, um, and then invoke that sigil. Okay, so it, optional is you could learn it as a gesture instead of a sigil type. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So most of these spells require you to draw a physical sigil or something. By six. Six. Or we'll have tats. You can see two individuals. Um, you can give me a fright check. Uh, that's a modified will. Got all that. I didn't. Uh, he made a fail. Fright check for losing will. Uh, let's see. That's three. So that's not too bad. And that's wrong. Fifteen by four. By four. All right. You end up losing two points of fatigue. You are stunned, but that means you can still defend yourself. It looks like two individuals, um, kind of mildly, maybe strength 13 or so. They're like fairly thick. Um, they apparently have piled up a few bodies. Um, one individual has his hands out, and he seems to have braced what appears to be some sort of... Um, a bar it looks like a browning, but okay. there's something odd about it. The same one with the other one. There's weird objects kind of hanging off of it. It's hard to tell initially. Uh, they are wearing what appears to be a weird pallid mask, just completely white-faced, mm -hmm. and that was what was disturbing. You don't know why, but it was unsettling looking at the mask. Okay. And they apparently are wearing some sort of heavy hooded vest, not a vest, but a, a heavy hooded cloak, which appears to be made out of people's faces. Okay. Oh, fuck um, that. There's a few last. This he peeked them. around the corner, and this is oh. what he saw. Well, I'm, I'm side by side with him, so I'm just... So you were moving into the corridor then? No, no not if he's peeking around the corner. All right, then th I you don't see any of that. Then, then no bridal glass. <laughs> so you didn't even make a fear check. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Through the wall. <laughs> yep. So he approached the, the corner and kind of peeked around, and that's when this all occurred. If you wanted to move out, you would have had to move to the other corner, well, and you'd be, in the, the street, I mean. you'd be in the intersection. They apparently are aiming rifles in the rough area, so you will get to defend yourself, but it looks like they've been waiting for someone. They might have heard you when either the primal bla or was it primal flares went up, and they saw that, or the noise when you guys were making down here. You had heard them probably about the same time period. Yep. It looks like the jingle jangling is weird kind of fetishes they have coming off their people mask yep, suits. Uh, and it does look like they have staffs on their back and yeah. quintessent vials and a bunch of other weird charms and shit they've been picking off the dead. Okay. Oh crap, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got shot in the Damn. face. Survive that, Hunter! I will. All right. So, <laughs> brain, what I need that for? Exactly. You've seen my oh, character. Shit, that's for. It's a very small target to hit. <laughs> Your first one is at a minus seven. Here, your next one's at a minus four. Mind you, it is hard to target just the part of your face that came across, yep. but there's multiple rounds downrange. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I think I need probably about a three. So I'll use fatigue and I'll, I can fall back, right? So yep, I'll you'll get a dodge three. drop at a plus three. So it's a total of five. You said minus seven, so it'd be minus two, right? So yep. the first one is at a minus seven. Right, effectively net mod, uh, minus two. Uh, see, I'm half, so I'm at a five there, so I need a three, so I don't. And then the other one I get to dodge. Um, now, what was the second one? By minus four. four. Minus four. You'll still get your plus three for dodge and drop. And okay. then burning your fatigue, it still fatigue. give you the plus two. Same fatigue? Or yep, because this is. Okay. You're dodging the exact same way so right six. Two shots. So I miss both of them. Okay. 
Will this be it? Will this be the time Hunter actually dies? Well, there's a few hit locations. I didn't know where he was coming out initially, but that means that there are potential hits on him, which I'm rolling for random hit locations. And depending upon the power of the weapon, it doesn't matter if I'm behind It could a go wall. through a wall, yes. Yeah. So. A BAR could especially go through the, yeah. the walls here. But the DR would apply from the wall. Oh, might be oh, a safe band on, right? Yeah. All right. As long as I don't get Mace Mace in the face. <laughs> <laughs> get that old-fashioned stink eye going on. Holy shit, what happened to Hunter's face? Oh, that's a bullet. That's a bullet. You don't have no face now. <laughs> <laughs> He's facially he challenged. around with those white pollen masks. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I would get 18 minutes. So I'll see what you look at. Two... So, as you're peeking around the corner, mm-hmm. I would say that this most likely, depending on how it goes over, would end up hitting um, probably your left arm. Okay. So there wouldn't be any cover for that. Um, and that would take 36 and 37. Does the snake man armor matter? Yeah, that the snake ar- armor applies in full. Okay, so the first one was how much? 30. 37, the next one's 36. Okay, so 17 and 16. Yeah. Um, let's see, and then I can take this damage. Is the point where he notices there's snake bend faces so then, on the mask. So then my armor goes, or my damage only goes up to my hit points, right? Yep. Which is 15, so that makes it minus 30. And that moves that to minus 51. Okay. So then I look here. So I'm going to go through one, two death checks. So my arm's crippled again. That didn't take long. What do you need an <laughs> arm for? Oh. All right. So then I need to. So i got to make a, a subdue first, right, for the shock of the hits. Yep, and you get your high pain threshold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. so I'm going to make that by. Seven sets by fourteen. Roll your other ones. Don't roll those. And then if you roll eighteen of those, man, then I got two death checks. So the first death check, you know, make it by uh, six is fifteen or no thirteen? Excuse me. And then one more. Ten, twelve. It's gonna be by seven. Okay. For those two death checks. All right, so you're good other than, uh, was it in the consciousness, which you'll probably make, but then... And then one more consciousness. The, did you make your consciousness for the that, death check? That, that was my... Oh, I need... That's right. I need to do a zero and then minus... Zero one. at every death check. Yeah, and then minus one for the follow-up. So I did both of them. Okay, and then a major wound, which is minus five. And I already did that, that the first one I made by 14, so okay. by nine. With the uh, so two more rounds will penetrate the wall. Okay. They'll hit you in the upper torso, but you, I would say the wall would give you 20... Eh, that amount of wood coming through. I'll give you 15. So okay. that would be 23 and... Uh, so 23 is coming through? Yep, 23 is hitting the uh, kind of your left side. So three, right? So uh, three. And then uh, there's three more in addition to that, so six. So 26. So 26, okay. So then six would get through. You guys can give me a perception small arms. What's so like small seven, arms? Seven, Armory six. small arms. What's the default? Pass. IQ. But no in this default. instance, I would say that if you don't have it, there's not a default. I think by six. By six. You haven't seen... The, the, the weapons sound like some sort of very overpressure round 30 out six. So the shots are indicative. You see him get shot a few times and he ducks behind cover. Yeah. A few of them penetrated the kind of cut on the wall. So obviously they can rip through the side walls here. So I could get a deflect harm up. I shout out. So now we're in, what is it, real combat rounds here. Could, are they made of premium? You didn't chat. I shout out. No, I looked at them. They're made of some kind of crystal. Two targets, center of the hallway, 15 feet You haven't feet seen away. the crystal before. You imagine that. This could some look be at the it. crystal thing. I don't know what just shot him, but it should be the crystal thing. All right. So where are we on here? It has here? the same sound as I heard previously. With Barton... So what you see is you guys walk up to the hallway, you're kind of side by side, but then he kind of creeped around the corner. It looks like shots happened as soon as he peeked his head around. So obviously they might have known that you were coming. Um, Gyrox bounce, right? Off walls? They can, but they're not They can, it's just, it's like a... 
One is good. So trying to skip it, you're, it'd be it's very a, difficult. It's a pop bottle rocket. Otherwise, hey, it seems like they fired on him immediately. We have in the corner. Freaking eighty mag or whatever. Are you going in with his death stick? Boom. No, I was gonna, I was thinking <laughs> carbine off the wall. <laughs> oh, sure. So it is your turn. You saw that he took fire. He jumped away right around. Was yeah. it right can away? I, can I shout anything out? You can. Okay, I'd shout two targets center of the hallway, and then I'd tell him, you know, 15 feet. I got the eye for distance, so whatever the distance is. I'd probably say they were about 23 feet away, okay. so yeah. 20 feet away. Um, they had a minor barricade of, like, bodies kind of slowly piled <coughs> up there, yeah. but... I assume they only have, like, given the second, Given the so kind of weapons that you guys retaliate with, it's... It should just be... Yeah, we see a mushroom cloud. I'm oh. Give me a second. I should totally just sit on the lightning bolt. Boom! And go way deep into that whatever it's called you got. Take that, you bastards. So, no, the lightning bolt gun, the yith gun. What oh. the hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a camera, man. Exactly. <laughs> Setting <laughs> one. Boom! <laughs> so, I'm. But I'm, I'm first. Have it out ready, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to shoot the auto carbine. See, I'm just taking out my shot. Okay, so they're down there, so I'm going to try and bounce ball. it off the wall for about 15 feet to have it towards the middle of 15. They do occasionally bounce. Given the chantry walls, though, I mean, you might penetrate into the next room rather than it bouncing. Okay, well. Uh, like, if you remember when you fired in that one building, only one of them bounced off a main I beam. The rest of them fired across the street, straight through the door. Do you have to burn quintessence for Pound of Blast, or how does that no. work? Uh, normally, it's just That's a nice. loosely packed amount of primal energy, so it causes a concussion blast. My primal energy, if so you put in quintessence, it turns into oh, yeah, a pattern. Yeah, I assumed after the thing, we took them off. So yeah, it goes through spatial objects, though, right? Like a wall, as long as it's not lifelinked or whatever. No, that's only a primal blast will destroy. It'll detonate on anything that has a pattern, which is pretty much all real matter. You could take it and throw like a grenade and just kind of lob it down the hallway. You could attempt to. Okay, I will try to do that if I need. Oh if my you God, want another grenade. <laughs> He's usually go horribly wrong. Well, last time it didn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I don't do anything. That's the best case. It gives you a plus one to spatial I, I'm not criticizing magics. the grenade. It's just I haven't had a good experience in the last few days. I, yep. I feel like you, as the first person after he takes damage, my motive should be make them take cover. All right. What about that Casey tattoo? Um, it's some sort of um, ancient primal ward. You don't know what specifically it does. Apparently it primarily works to stop your pattern from being rewritten. Primal I Blast down the hall. I don't know what my, um, my uh, skills eight, so that's a most of my spells are at. Like, I know you have to remember I'll assume that remember most of them are at like a two. What? You have to we can redo it from there. The Primal Blast by one. Okay. You've got a little bit of power built up. Looks like up. a marble. No, that's still a fair amount of energy. I mean, that's more damage. Well, probably equivalent damage it's to like a pistol. It's like saying you launched a bazooka by one. I know. It's like just if he's throwing it in there in a detonation, it... Okay. It might make him take cover. Yep. Um, I'm from your depiction, though, those fuckers look pretty grizzled. So yeah. they had people faces like someone in there. Exactly. I'm throwing it in there, baby. You can give me. That's um, my fear. That's where I'm. What the be hell in is it? A <laughs> dex <laughs> based cult. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Walk and beat one of those guys oh. walking around wearing the faces. Oh, uh, <laughs> occultism. Is yep. That, is a a dex based occultism. I'm not afraid that I'm going to be a face so guy. It's a minus one. Or a neat attack projectile. You're not going to be a part of this cloak. You're going to be a cloak warrior fool. Yep. You got to throw primal blades. Well, it's it matters how good with the shot you are. Here, like, superpower! Oh shit, I throw like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I blew up that car over there though. Look at that. Wow. Thank God that was my Occultism by six. Okay. You chuck it in there. Um, I, I'm assuming you throw it and then get out of line of sight so you don't see exactly well, what happens. Well, you said that I could kind of lob it, so I was assuming I'm here. You know, I'm assuming you lob it around the corner. Does that mean that you wanted to get into the corridor or no? no? Okay, so you lob it, you don't see exactly what happens. Talking to Hunter with the guy without a draw. Robert, let's <laughs> meet Run. <you> <laughs> There's a small explosion. It's not huge, but it's like poof. Yeah. They're laughing. Uh, now we're at the professor. Um, right now, you're a little bit farther back in a corridor. This is a four-way intersection down off roughly from your relative position off to the left. There was individuals that fired on people. <coughs> this is somewhat of the epicenter where it looks like people it's have been... It's not going to matter. 
people have already been killed by just the, by arms. We so. told you it's 15 feet down the corridor, a portion the hell From what you that. saw, like 20 feet, but yes. hypothetically, someone could be alive, but it's unlikely. It seemed like everyone in that corridor was down, and either they're so bad off that they're not fighting being thrown into yeah. a barricade, or they're just dead, dead. So I should apportion them there? Yep. You can, but you'll need line of sight for a portion, or you'll have to guess. Guess. <laughs> he told you how far they killed everyone. I threw a hand grenade. Just making a portion. They're already the dead room. if they weren't. So <laughs> they're already dead if they weren't. You already threw a hand grenade. I Hunter, how far? How big is that room? Tossed a primal. Uh, I threw a magic hand grenade. Rooms um, fifteen by twenty-two. I, um, the hallway is probably about twelve feet across. Um, 12 feet out, maybe. Can I prepare it's fairly, it's enough for multiple people to pass at the same time. There are exits <laughs> where they could take off into small rooms. So, how bad are you? Uh, he's already explained that the Chantry's gravity is constantly shifting and, and gravity or and sort of manipulates the gravity that's already <laughs> there. Can you draw me out? I don't know what we're saying here. Playing around can, you, can you draw <laughs> me out the area? change and you lose all those points. Try It's not my turn yet, and that would take more than a second. We're talking, and we can still talk, right? Yeah. Mind you, if you guys start talking, I'm going to do this in pseudo round. Okay. The shit's going to start going to happen. Yeah, so exactly. I'm I, going outside. I can't do gravity ripple. That's hmm? No, I, I'm not saying you can't. I'm it's, saying it's your turn. Let, 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 let the everyone. professor make a decision. It is her turn. You don't have as much time as you're using to talk. Exactly. So. Can I? I was just explaining no advice, to her no the advice. rule of the thing that you'd already. No said. I know, but you're also giving her. I I don't mind you saying like maybe you should use a primal flare, but if you're. Get if you're no sitting there for two minutes explaining, like, no, use it to do this, change okay, the color. I'll Damn it, Steve, shut your pile. Will, um, conjure up <laughs> a portion, but as soon as his glass goes off... It already did. It already did? Yep. Well, I'll try to portion it on my Okay. But don't I need to cast it first, then... Yeah, <coughs> but you have to cast it, presume... I'm assuming what you do is cast yeah, it, determine whether or not it went off, then step slightly into the hallway to chuck it. It's like a grenade. It's more like a mono wire tether that runs across the ground. You open it up on the target, but theoretically, if somebody can detect that, like if they have sense steely, they could step away from the aperture, and you're like, oh shit, I gotta aim this now. I gotta keep it on target. Oh, there we go. I think you at least had that at a two. You might have had it at a four. Keep in mind your portion gets the bonus from the. Are you getting a plus three from the cat? Or was it from uh, Puddin' right now? So, 16. I made by 12. That's pretty good. Then you gotta you step into the corridor. So that's the power of it. You think it's pretty damn powerful? No, I can't um, You step and you see these two individuals. Uh, it seems like they are roughly aiming down the hall, but they use their action on... Uh, what's his face over here? Hunter. Okay, then I'll aim it at them. We you wouldn't be aiming it, you'd be chucking it unless you want to take an aim action, which I wouldn't recommend because well, they'll shoot back. Uh, you chuck it. You either roll a dex based occultism or an innate uh, attack projectile. I know what mine is, it's at a 17. Okay. How big is the, uh, the barrel? Wait, wait, seven. On the camera. Uh, then you would roll for this particular effect. Uh, 12 die and his armor divisor of 10. Well, actually, from what you see, uh, for whatever reason, the effect curves. However, it's large enough where it still wings the one on the left. It seems as though you can say with thaumatology they put up some sort of pentagram ward in front of the projectile as it's coming. Um, and it does deplete the effect a certain amount, so you can roll 7D armor divisor the chicken 10. For the what if blocker? Bring a hole in this wall. And you can it through it, that's just the diameter of the camera. The lightning bolt gets big right after. And also, mind you, when you guys pop out, I'm, I'm taking this into account, but just so you know, when you pop out out of cover and then fire them pop back in, you're taking a minus two to your shot. Okay. Oh. That's fine. Okay. I, already, I already took that into account. Uh, 30. 30. It seems as though you look like you cut into the man on the left side. You take his arm off and part of his torso. Um, it did seem... Oh, shit, actually. I like that. From what you can see, he's bleeding on that arm. It didn't cut the arm off. However, strangely enough, his cloak has fallen off on that section. You almost heard a faint scream. You killed the innocents. <laughs> what? They're wearing cloaks made out of people's faces. 
whatever it was, the effect not only curved away from them, one of them tried to throw up a, a pentagon or pentagram pentagram. ward in front of it, and when They're it trying hit, to make you feel bad it seems as though it cut like into the guy's don't. arm, but you're very confident it should have just blew his arm right off. But for whatever reason, the, the cloak on that side just fell off completely. Okay. The rest of the cloak lo- seems like it withers up, too. Then I'll, like, can I duck back? Yep, and then tell you can try to duck back. Uh, we're at now um, Dusty. Try to fast run my pistol. So I succeeded. There's no penalties. Right? Not unless you're doing an offhanded or... Mambadic stare does. So. Okay. Um, so fast rod. Um, basically, I'll just kind of step out so I'm presenting only my right side. Pop off three rounds and step out. Okay. You're the minus two to the uh, shot. Yeah, just looking um, for centered mass. Yeah, they're not that far off meter-wise. I'm not going to give you a penalty. Okay. There's a possibility if you just... That you could roll like their legs and then you're just going to shoot yeah. a pile of bodies. Yep. But I'm hoping the rocket pistol can blast through it, so but we'll see. Ooh, rocket pistol, huh? Yeah. I thought you were going to use the I type beam. I had an arm crippled, so I can't shoot the rifle any longer. I suppose I could one-hand it, like, you know, some kind of... I apologize. Arnold switch thing. Toward, oh. So you're firing the, the rocket carbine, the gyro carbine? No. Nope. B's rocket pistol. The pistol is one-handed. Right, and that's what I fast dropped oh, my shoulder ulcer. Oh, the laser weapon. She, okay. I'd, I'd taken the Tesla rifle when we started advancing down the hallway. If it was B's weapon, I think even... No, it was the Tesla from MI5. Then that is heavy. Right, it's 12 pounds, it says two hands, and yep. 10 strength. And so I dropped that, it's laying on the floor, I put my pistol. Ooh, I pick it up. Exactly. Ooh, look what I found, guys. <laughs> so I got a 6. Um, I got like succeed back. by a 9, which turns into a 7 with a minus 2 for popping around. And then... You can roll for damage... Uh, what is it for? One of the rounds. Okay. Are you talking to the individual on the relative to you, the left or the right? Well, she told me she hit the one on the right. Correct. Okay. So then I hit the one on the left. Okay. So chest. Nice. That yeah, came through. Thank you. One more dice, buddy. I got five. That's what it is. For sure. For sure, it's six. I made it. Oh, five dice. PI plus plus is what I show. No, I apologize. Unless, I guess you you got, didn't make unless it. you've got different numbers. <laughs> but twenty-three. This is what I've got on dice and damage. PI yeah, plus plus. PI plus plus. So if anything gets through, I don't know if it will. And I did fire three rounds, so... The hit location is the chest. Um, strangely enough, you're pretty confident that something has veered the bullets away from the individual, okay. but one of them does e- impact. The recoil doesn't okay. make it by one. Yeah. Um, you hit him in the chest. It seems to hit. He gets jostled back. Okay. Um, no obvious effect. The uh, How much damage did you roll? 23. 23. It looks as though it, the faces on his suit scream, and it seems like the suit withers up a little bit, but... Okay. Um, they got a otherwise, partner. you can see that he instinctively threw up a pentagram award, and the gyroc just fired right through it, and yep. then he's like, oh, yeah. But. Take that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been accustomed to getting lightning bolts thrown at them exactly. for the last hour or two. Exactly. I'm just here to mix it up a little. Since I'm all... We're all friends here. Paradoxed out. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been. Some stuff happens. Do you guys turn rice? I will jinx them. Okay. Uh, you don't have line of sight, but you can end up um, trying to jinx them around the corner at a penalty. <sighs> Question real quick. The stones I got from teacup, teacup that cuts into the wood. The charcoal? Yes. It doesn't cut into the wood. It allows you to pass through the wood. Yes. Will they be able to see me from the other side as I pass through the wood when I use it? No, you should have just immediately appear on the other side. However, you'd have to go through the intervening room. But I don't get to see what's on the other side from my side, right? No. So, could I draw a hole in there and then shoot Foxfire through it? You wouldn't have line of sight. It would It would be the same difficulty of turning around the corner because mm-hmm. you don't have line of sight. But I got that much more wood. Just disintegrate them. They're not ready for a Mew sigil. He can't see them. Yeah, that's a the problem. They've all been throwing grenades. Why can't he? Supposedly, you could walk right through the wall, and they you'd have the surprise on them. But then you might not know exactly where you're coming out and where their position yeah. is relatively. So totally, you wouldn't have to see them. Totally until buckling on the Mew gun next time, or the Yith gun. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting in the hallway. <laughs> Put your pentagram out, but I don't care. <laughs> you got a two power light bolt coming your way. I'll wear it. You get the bottom and cover my ears. You, <laughs> you get the spatial mask. I'll try, it. Like, <laughs> I'll try to jinx them. I don't think they get bad on electricity. Like, that's pretty bad. Just yeah. Bolt space, they got it. You're trying to do what now? I'll jinx them. Okay. 
We're not fighting spatial masters. Four, seven. Any pluses? You don't know what they are. Uh, you get your plus three from Scarlet. Just did so much more damage. By ten. Started not using the Tesla. Twenty-three shots though. I know. You just had twelve. That's true. You, um, you, you rock. You do hear one of them counter jinxing. Uh, they must know some sort of jinxes. Okay. At least... They know something. You would hear something, and thaumatologically you hear one or two of those words. Most, most of them are bastardized, mm-hmm. and other of them seem to be in some sort of weird tongue okay. that you do not recognize. They sucked up their own. But it appears to be... Um, otherwise, yep. some, yep. You, the effect it. went off. You don't know what, to what, what to point. Yep. Is there a garbage can on the track? Okay, yeah. there is. He's going to throw it at me? Can you find that on um, we're at Steve. Everybody's ducking around the corner shooting and coming back. Can I do that? Um, there would be... <sighs> it's a 12-foot hallway, right? It's a 12-foot hallway. You would be a little bit farther back, so you'd have to cover a little bit more distance to kind of get around. You'd have to coordinate with people, but yes, you could. I'll just spend my round coordinate. And when I pull back, I do try to pull back far enough so when sh- the other bullets just shoot through the wall, I'm not in there line of fire. Okay. Yep, my, that's a, up to I got my shield, and I'm getting ready to go around next round with my... Pistol. You could go around, you're just taking the same penalty, the minus two. That's fine. Well, what I'm saying is, you could do this turn at the minus two. Yeah, or next the turn, you coordinate and then. Did anybody else understand what the, the bastardized yeah. tongues that were being spoken? Nothing's getting through that. You guys could give me a perception linguistic. <laughs> <laughs> What's the default? <laughs> hmm? You don't have that as I have character points so I can buy her to kill before I die. <laughs> no, you can't. I already have some linguistic. You asked. Perception See, linguistic. <laughs> Steve, perception <laughs> linguistics. Perception linguistics from everybody? From anyone who oh, actually no, has I don't it. I so critically made well, it. Five. Five. You made by what? Uh, hold on. Did by ten. I rolled a four. Okay. By five. Five. And then they made by five as well. You two aren't sure. Some of it sounds to be Chinese, um, but only a very small spattering. From you, uh... The only references that you're familiar with is there some sort of, um, you think that this is some sort of Cho-Cho language. Cho-Cho? What's that? Um, Steve doesn't know. There's kind of like half men, half goat people that supposedly were marked as the followers of Lang. Uh, These individuals don't look half goat, half what have you. I'll tell you guys. But it's it's a language of some rare cannibalistic tribe that worship the plateau and the king in yellow. I'm doing my duck and shoot. Okay. Man, you come out. Should oh. totally be a superhero way out there. Just make sure you took a little bit so that the Make sure you have your shield on, on, you know? You were entitled. They were waiting. What is it? Based on their initiative, they're waiting for the next person to pop yeah. out. Like, yeah, we've got this game. <laughs> Whack them all. 12 so shots. It, yep, I'm aware. However. You're taking fire. You're taking fire as you pop out. Their yep. initiative was at six. If he would have came out, they would have shot him. Uh, but. Uh, what is it? You get the plus for the shield. You'll get a plus two defensive bonus that will count on any of your stuff. Awesome. Um, however, you're taking a minus six and a minus three from gunfire. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. Get the shield done. Yo. It's so they go first. Minus six. I'm spending fatigue because I can okay. do that. Jeez, what are you worried about? I I made my dodge rolls and I only had half. Well, minus six, I need a six, so that's pretty grim. You've told me you're tougher than me. So. I am, so we'll find out how tough I am. So I failed that one by three. Okay. Can I spend fatigue on the next one or just the first one? It's the it same defense good. maneuver against the gunfire, so. So I like got only a minus one, but I get plus two, so I'm plus yeah, one. Ten fatigue on this? I spend it on everything. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. They all hit me. All right, all right, Let me know what happens, and if I survive, I'll shoot them. You will. You're tougher than Hunter. So I, th- I think if they were hitting your torso or arm, it'd be the shield, right? All right, oh, so I know. write down these numbers, uh, 33, 45, 36, and 37. That's what big numbers. They are. <laughs> <laughs> that up to big numbers. So what are they again? 35? 33, 45, 36, 37. 35, or was it 33 plus? 35. 35. No, 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 45, boys. 45. I was trying to help you out. Plus? 36. Plus 36. Plus 37. Plus 37. But they're all separate no. packets of damage. You missed 36. Yep. But now he's telling you where they're hit. Oh. Right cheek, left cheek. No. Your they were roughly for center of mass. Uh, the shield takes um, 120. 
Um, the last round will hit, and, it and it collapses the shield. Um, then the remaining damage of that last one, so what are we looking at? So totally 31. On <laughs> yeah. 31. So I have to double check the shield, because I think it's 120 and it'll stop. Do you have your snake man on It might be higher. It's going to be Mark B. should have tatted up. You're going to have a inner boob. <laughs> 31 gets through. That last shot. Well, his uh, ring, if his ring lets him live, or... Take it won't kill him. I'll say 120. I think it was set at 120. That's fine. The ring won't let him die. 31 gets through. 31 gets through. You can enjoy this. Should be my torso, torso, right? Yes. I got 16 armor in my torso. I mean, so if you like being removed, sure. Someone's still got their glocky armor. Yeah. Else Before else. that happens, you are aware that the ring is going to initiate, unless you want to try to cancel that. The ring is going to... It's gonna trying to die. phase you out, but you'd be stuck in another realm for at least a few moments. It prevent the damage, but it's trying to shift you in defense. Just, just teleport out. Just take it. Like I'm gonna take. One. I'm gonna try to counter it. Unless it's gonna take. Be a will based shot. hyper tech. Oh, that's. <laughs> I did that by more than ten. All right, you in control of the ring. It determined yeah. that something is now penetrating your person, yeah, and okay, I tell him. based on its programming, it is telling you to move yeah. to the other area. You'll take the damage, so you take. I would say the shock penalty would be for next turn because you're firing at the same time. This no, would be awesome. So I've got shot you in the shot. Don't worry about it. So you, <laughs> <laughs> you were shot on the individuals. Like I said before, it looks yep. like they've taken Whichever one. Whichever one looks like he did more damage to me. <laughs> so you took 31 to the chest. Did you Probably find the out first one. Hitched one in the or left. Long and maybe it did even more. You, you didn't even get through, no. man. I've got to make a class. I rolled so a three. Win, it wasn't right? harder lungs. Nah, that's too bad. He tells me if it's critical. So then I let the ring activate. <laughs> Well, no, it's just penetrating your skin. You don't know that it's right over your heart. <laughs> and then I get my shots. Yep. Well, yes, the right. It's a minus two. You go to another place and bleed what out. What did you make? Oh, yep. Everyone it's a minus two for popping out. Before. That would, would be prevent the event from happening. So I have a 17. But he popping out makes it a 15. Too. Two, four, eight. Can what is it? What kind of weapon is it? Pistol. Pistol? How far? You can't brace it. Yeah, you can't brace because you have a shield out. 18. I get the bulk penalty. That's two. 16. We'll coordinate I would say that you would just step magic, so you wouldn't really need huh? to. Know, 18. Um, then you get your bonus for multiple shots if you have come that. Wait right till my turn. We're coordinating. 18 on the least one guy. One of these I hit him with rail pistols. A critical I roll four. That, so By how much? Okay. 14. Strangely Jesus enough, laser beams. you're pretty confident. I mean, you're kind of dead center on him, but something veered it off towards this kind of his right upper chest. If it wasn't coming in so quickly or you were so accurate, you're pretty sure it would have shot past him. However, you can roll it's your damage. It's light. It's light, man. <laughs> I'm he saying. He my light. <laughs> Maybe he's got deflect harm. And it doesn't matter. harm shouldn't stop light, though. Well, I understand. But I'm just but saying, yeah, he, harm in the general sense. Later on, you guys can correlate. There's something <laughs> funky because it, the shots aren't hitting as well as they should. Maybe he's got deflect light. And you'll probably see that there's some battle damage, like the lightning blast, like minor leap went past them or right. things of that nature. So I get 12 shots, and each one does three dice. I'll just take average if you'll let me. Yep. They don't have DR in the conventional sense, so you can rope t- just tell me how much damage you do. I'm looking here. I have an ablate of DR, if you will, made of people. <laughs> yep. Three dice, uh, a divisor by two for armor, and each shot would do four, three, three, ten. Ten. Yeah, you give me a lot, but I'll take 10. I'm happy with that. So I did 12 times 10, 120. Take these. And a third of those will hit him in the vitals. Did it sound like both guns were shooting? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. They're not firing a lot. You end up hearing it's either two to three round bursts. Yeah. However, you saw four shots impact the shield, and yeah. these are definitely more powerful than what you'd think right. from a standard bar round. Yep. Not drastically more, but definitely more powerful. Yeah. More importantly, I just want to pretend that they have decided to break up their shooting. All right. From what you can tell, uh, like, uh, hey, make your own assumptions. Uh, so, firing the rounds, it does look like the individual kind of looks at what you're pointing at him with. Um, and you, this is the Tesla, your pistol. Yep. Pistol looks gun. weird. Oh, yeah. So, he good. throws up a pentagram ward. Yeah, good for him. No, I would say he got shot with a gun. He throws up a deflect harm, which doesn't <laughs> stop light. 
Oh, it's just it's strong rock. It seems paper, as though paper covers rock. The suit <laughs> around him starts to kind of boil and bubble up, and then a hole appears in his uh, kind of upper left chest, and he kind of grabs his gun and kind of shrugs a little bit, and he falls backwards like. <laughs> Got mine. <laughs> I look down at my chest, the smoking hole. <laughs> I can fix that. Alright. Then we're back left. up to Barton. He looked fresher. Yeah. Kill the guy with one arm. Uh, make, make it happen, Barton. Okay, fine. I was going to do a coordinated attack, but if there's only one left, I will. Just one. Oh, wait a minute, they did break up their fire. He puts us in our other. <laughs> 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 no, nope. they're firing at the same time as soon as somebody popped around the corner. I understand, but they could have had you know a stage like you know yep. you hold your action and then I'll get the next guy and then you you know their actions thus far have been basic, right? Like kind of um, what the hell is it? Private type right. tactics. It's right. it's not drastically, but given what they're currently holding on to and <coughs> the shit they've seen so far. Okay, so I want to use. Gravity ripple to like distort gravity upside down and then cast lightning bolt. Can I do? I have the sigils drawn and ready to go. You'd have so. to do a dedicated action, meaning you'd have to. Was it when you get into the hallway, you would do the two effects and you just would not be able to dodge? It'd be all or nothing. Doing it! Okay. <laughs> this would be awesome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thud. <laughs> Martin is dead. <laughs> He can't be dead. No, clearly. Okay, so you step into the. You do your. <laughs> <laughs> you can either try the gravity ripple building up here and move, which would be at a minus two, or you could move into the hallway. Then the bad people did it. The thing is, if you move in the hallway, then you don't know whether or not the effect is going to. I'm going to move into the hallway and then do both. Okay. Good job. <laughs> so gravity ripple by seven. Okay. And. I'm also going to make it stronger upside down, yes. so like he's double gravity <laughs> up. But he was so. arguing hard again. It seems as though he puts some Classic effort into it and throws himself. up a t pentagram ward, and the gravity ripple doesn't fully kick off. Okay. Lightning bolt. Okay. And I will burn two quintessence. Okay, there is a pentagram ward in front of him, but... It didn't stop light, did it? No. It stops magic, though. Magical you've sources. Got, you've got thaumatology, so you should know that. The much. pentagram ward will stop magical sources. He's thrown them up in front of a gun. He's just been... They've been fighting so many magi. What, what is the ward, like, in? Like, It seems as though he it draws it with his hand and holds it up. So... It's like uh, air. You see, like, a little bit of light. You see the mystical after effects. A little bit of light. They do the rune. Weird. Well, I still have my pistol. You can over-penetrate it. I'm just saying... His defensive action was to throw up. So you might want to spend three contestants and a willpower. I. So before I've done this, I. The gravity ripples happen now. Yeah. I burn the lightning bolt from the quintessence I have stored on my person in the vessels that you said I could do so with. So I have three of those vessels, and I'm going to burn them all. You're burning three of the individual units that are in containers, or what's in your person? It's the containers I made specifically so that we could burn them instead of without okay. conduit. So I'm going to burn three of those, and what else can I burn? Willpower. I don't want to burn any more of that. Burn willpower. I, I would just go full dedicate, and I'd go in all. <laughs> he had to do dedicate to do this. I know he had to, but I was just mocking him because he's not going all in now. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a fatigue. Steve doesn't necessarily need likes. <laughs> so I'd spend the will, because if they get to return fire, <laughs> hey, you're, 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 you're done. The you're three, done. Advice. <laughs> the, the three quintessence gives me a six. Gives you a plus six. Okay. He and wants and lightning bolt. He wants somebody in the And I'm going to lock it. You gotta lug it? Yeah. You should have waited for your lock. He doesn't have a defense, he dedicated. Yeah. yeah. But couldn't he burn his lock nope. on you to roll? A Make you reroll? Uh, but he's gonna get another one. Uh, it's so not burning through that pentagram. Lightning bolt with all the bonuses, well, except dedication, but I think so I have plus two, so I get an eight. Okay. By eight. Only no, by eight? You get a plus six. You yeah, three well, I passed three. only by two. My highest roll was a freaking ten. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can end up hit. rolling um, five D errors, excuse me. So, eight. Two. You can roll two D six. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, most of it gets burnt up in that pentagram. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that would have been good to roll earlier. And I will you see his hair goes. <laughs> I still need a hit roll, excuse me. Uh, um, I still need a hit, hit roll, which is a... 
Uh, dex based occult or innate projectile. This would be one. awesome. Here's their the dex 18 he's like all. <laughs> Hey! Yay! <laughs> so, a cult. Oh, no. It's a fit straight up a cult. For whatever reason, you're pretty sure it should hit, but it veers slightly around them and detonates what looks to be another missed lightning bolt. And you're like, this looks kind of oddly similar. <laughs> Set of circumstances. All right. And so you stand. <laughs> so, yep. Barton goes out there. You kind of see him throw two magical effects, and he has a little bit of look like, huh. <laughs> He's out in the middle of the hallway. It is Ooh. now your turn. My turn. Well, they already got a target. <laughs> <laughs> B is pretty sure that she knocked one down, and even if he is still up, it might take a few turns for him to do anything. You saw the the, the oh, face suit around him started to shrivel up and boil, and then you just saw him his chest combust. Now is this like a T intersection? So there's a it's hallway a four way intersection. Okay, so, so there's a hallway on the other side. There's a hall. What is it? You're at the four way intersection. Yeah. They're kind of. 20 feet, 23 feet in here behind the pile of bodies. And there's a hallway down here, and then you're on another section. So right. there's another hallway this side. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to run across. I just use my right arm. I hook Barton and just carry him to the other side. Okay. You'll have to give me a strength check. I think um, you're not low on fatigue, so I think your strength is still straight up. Got yeah. um, I'm effectively at half strength. Or no, excuse me, I'm at 15. These so are straight despite my drawing. Eight. So I'd make it by six. Okay. It's three meters across. What is your movement? Uh, ah, shit, that's right. I'm at half. I wasn't so it'd standing only, it'd only directly in the middle either. I'd be standing just you enough to see. You would stand... Uh, what I'm so saying, is it easier yeah. just to grab him and pull him back? Potentially, yeah. Okay, then I'll just do that. Okay, by six. Any no, minute? I'd drop my gun. How are they able to get through um, the deflect harms? Nobody's thrown up a deflect harm at them, so you don't know. It might work. What? <coughs> the bullets, we, had, we, the we, bullets we saw them shooting into people hit in them the, in the chest. And we, these are all magi, so they're doing deflect harm. As it looked as though some of the magi, for whatever reason, looked like they were standing in the middle of the hallway with their staffs up and just took multiple rounds. Right. So you guys are standing here. There seems to be, you haven't deflect seen it, somewhere. but there's kind of a pile up of bodies. And you kind of see, there's piled up bodies occasionally yeah. here and there. You can try it. From what Hunter's description is. So the hallways head out in this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work the first time. Do it again. Get his other arm. Alright. Get his face. Faces. I think he has faces. Alright. Um, so, um, professor? I'm going to try a portion again. Um, okay. Who can give you a plus three? Huh? You're, you're too panicky. How far back would you so say we are from the corner? So me and I. Um, well, at least I am. All of you are kind of huddled up because you're trying to do that um, dodge. So I would say, actually, you guys are kind of... I just need to know. Nine. I need to know. Like that? Distance from corner to... So these are like 12 feet. So depending on where you're sitting. So you might be three feet away from the corner over here, or you might be spread out. Since you didn't pop out, I'd say you're over here, so you're probably about four feet away from the corner behind Hunter. So, so the mystical effect seems pretty powerful. And then I, um, Let her go. Okay. You pop out. <coughs> it's a minus from, two. And from Hunter's description, from where he was to where so he saw them. Five. Yep. How about how far? 23 feet. 23 feet. Made by five. Uh, it seems he, he tries to actively defend himself a lot more with a lot more vigor than he did prior. You only see one individual up. However, he throws it. <laughs> um, really? The effect degrades. So, so as so far as the seconds third. go, my turn, he's like. <laughs> and yep, just, just the same way I, you would get a dodge right? yeah. or a mystical defense. Like base, yeah. against all against so so base his turn is like, you get the same way every attack. Yes. You feel pretty bad too if I yeah, shot at you. are like, I'm sorry, one dodge per turn. You got shot four times. You dodged into a bush, and this guy had a clue on his side. In fairness, your character likely would be dead if those were the rules. I'm pretty sure you've dodged multiple times before. I've never had to. Yep. Uh, so he gets a defensive action. Um, what the hell is it? He does take a penalty, but mind you, um, what have you? The the effect seems to go slightly askew, mm -hmm. 
you do clip him ever so slightly, and it does look like you take off part of his hand. Um, That's comes otherwise, to you can see it rips up the far corridor pretty good. Okay. Did you get a sigil hand? He only had one last, so. No. <laughs> no, he's gonna be like, oh. Hopefully, he got like this part. He's got a pinky and a ring finger. Well, from what well, you guys saw before, both of his arms were functional. Just one of them didn't have the uh, the, the cloak on oh, it anymore. Right. You amended your statement. Uh, what the hell did I have you? We are now at We just need, like, the magic bomb. It's Maybe not race. It's a lightning bolt, it's some portion, All right. it's a primal blast. So it's still out there, boom. And he's 23 feet? Yep. Then I'm going to try to make a chalk circle, or chalk door. <coughs> okay. It's about four and a half feet in. So I'm going to go another half foot. And I'm going to try to connect them so I'm right... You're not 100% sure of the architecture. You could be opening up a rift into another room, cutting that corner. We'll find out, huh? Well, I will. You can give me a symbol drawing that's deck space. No, no, is it either with the... Uh... It's how... Normally it wouldn't require a roll, but in one second, okay. I'm determining how quickly this probably... Before you start it, you're probably aware this is a multi-turn to draw yep. Yep. a circle that you could pass through. Okay. So symbol drawing? Yep. Think of it like a fast draw for drawing. Okay. Nine by seven. Okay. Um, you think given another turn, you can draw the, the finishing arch to it. Okay. Um, we're currently back at Barton. Right. Excuse me, Steve. I skipped you, Steve. Jeez. Nobody's been firing back down the hallway. These guys just reset. I tried again. No, no, I'm looking at my shield. <laughs> the shield looks like it's going to take a few more seconds to turn back on. It must have impacted three of the shots impacted on the shield. Even the last one is just his last one killed it. I'm gonna wait for my shield. Um, then we're at. Did you want to do anything else? Um, no, I'm good. Okay. Then we're I at. I back away a little bit further from the hallway, so I know it's gonna take a few rounds. So I don't want to be here when the cuts loose with the hand grenade or whatever. I'm not sure you are tougher than that. We never see you take damage. Barton. Yeah. You're next. Whatever. <coughs> I'll look over and be like, can you pull me again? Can you pull me again? <laughs> no, but I can shove you. <laughs> so I am I can ready a primal blast before I step out, right? You can. I'm going to do so. So, primal blast by four. Pretty how, good. How big of, relatively, is that... Four with the primal blast. Did he put quintessence into it? No, no. Um, you're probably looking at it uh, uh, equivalent to a concussion grenade. I'll wait and build it up more. Okay. Uh, professor. Okay. Um, he's not down yet. We don't know. It looks like you injured him. Um, the other guy has not popped up, but it's been only a few seconds. It looks like he's building up a primal blast. Um, B is kind of waiting for the gauge to turn back on the shield. <laughs> so uh, I'll tell you. And you see me drawing a circle on the wall. Yeah. If reciprocal magic works this way, Hunter had spent his action be like, "Oh, Barton, get the hell back here." About to do it. If again. reciprocal magic yeah. works this I way, you can steal the primal blast from me and throw it or whatnot. I'm pretty sure Bar has a higher rate of fire than <laughs> two to three, but maybe they're being conservative. Conserving ammo. Unless somebody's in the hall. Should I do? So whatever you want to do. Then I'll do a portion. I don't have reciprocal magic for the um, primal flare. I don't have primal flare. Primal blast? Yeah, primal blast. You don't have I'll it? Do a portion. No. Oh. I'll do a portion of them. Uh, Wasn't there a spell called, like, primal sight or something? Um, Varus had a, um, a crawling sigil that was primal sight, I believe. I thought the... Do you have it now? The Chantry might have a symbol-based version. Do I still get a minus two? For popping out? Yeah, because you guys are popping out of cover. Uh, popping out of cover, this happens beforehand. Uh, what is it? So the you pop out. You can give me a minus seven defense. It looks like the individual has been waiting for somebody else to pop out. You get to be the lucky one to get lit up. No, pop, pop, bum. I might die. Potentially, <laughs> what it looks like the individual stops 
uh, caring about his round limitations. Uh, right, not round, but it's like I've only got two more seconds to live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to die with bullets in the Potentially. <laughs> deflect harm would stop. That's not fair. It sounds like he's a PC. Using that on top of You'd be at a minus seven because that's your defense. Use fold space. Redirect him back at him. Dangerous. You're not sure. <laughs> you, you just don't like to use magic, so I know you want to do it, but I'm can saying I, that's what right. Can I give her some information that she may not have because she's been working on her character? If you keep it short, not 15 sentences. Uh, we've run across all kinds of dead wizards here. One sentence. I've already told Comma. <laughs> they've been shot by crystalline bullets. Period. Yeah, Deflect harm doesn't work. We've we told her multiple times. All right. she, she doesn't believe us. Okay. You've never confirmed it. We don't know. So you, yeah. if it's all you've got, give it a go. Yeah. Well, if I take a minus, I would have to roll under six for deflect harm, or I have a dodge of 11. You can get a plus seven. three for dodge and drop, and then burning fatigue and, and acrobatics. Get up to five, so it'll be minus two, so it'd be nine. And then if you it's had acrobatics, you'd be at 11. Then. Yeah, I have acrobatics. Do I have to roll for acrobatics? Yep, because yep, if you fail acrobatics, you get a minus two. So you get a plus two, uh-huh. luckily. And then you burn a fatigue and back out. Okay. And then you're the seven right. eleven. It wouldn't be so much backing up, it would be I dodge and dropping, drop. but uh, I would count it as backing up, sure. You can get it back up for just a Okay. So you're at a eleven then. Eleven. Better than nothing. Hopefully that's dice turns into something small for you. Hey, you're winner. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Win a winning chicken dinner. Uh, you managed to drop back, you can give me a fright check. That's a winner, winner. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot you guys fright checks when you're looking at the pale masks. Um, but yeah, there you go. Made by um, you're fine, other than you see eight rounds impact the far wall where you were standing. Yeah. You see, blah, blah, blah. That would be frightening since I don't have any sort of like. All right, now we're at um, who's it? Hunter. Uh, Hunter. So, what's the penalty for quick drawing uh, under the arm holster when it's on the wrong side? I'd probably say a minus four. It's not the like it's not that odd. Yeah, I'm just asking a question because I don't know if there's a penalty or not. So the DM's roll. Yeah. I would imagine it would be more difficult the bulk than normal. Like yeah, sure the bulk penalty. Bulk penalty. Alright, there you go. So I think it's a two. You just pull up your ear. It's minus four. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Excalibur. <laughs> you guys. Be a 12, so I did it. Okay. Um, basically, I'll just pop on right side. Take the minus two and then the bulk yeah. penalty. It's faster. Pop, 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 pop. Seven. Nah, it's only going to be by, uh, what was it, by four. By four? Yeah, just the center mass. For some reason, the round. Actually, it'd be five because I get multiple shots. I'd be a plus one for that. For some reason, the round seemed to go a little bit skew, like they didn't hit directly on target. Yeah. We're at um, rice at this point. All right, I'll finish up this symbol. Okay. Shit, is he going then I will. Wall? Then I will quick draw the magi dagger, and I'm going to run through with scarlet. Okay. Um, when we this guy's got up. He's getting flanked. That's like good. Strong. You can give me an acrobatics at a minus four. Bow, 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 bow. He's waiting for you there. Gut shot kind of No minus four. Is that your new acrobatics is a dex? Yeah. Do you not have acrobatics? No, oh, I have acrobatics. It's a minus four acrobatics. Yeah. But it's a dex base. It is dex. So you My cast all grace all is at a plus four. It nullifies. Yeah, but the extra electricity I run over the pocket. It's pretty solid. It's got like an eight second response time. That's a good move. <laughs> good good By purchase three, on your part. I think. <laughs> Ultimately, so as you pass through the wall, two, eh? you have no ability. <laughs> you have no ability to see what's in front of you. And as you pass through this section of wall, so there's no floor. There's no interior in wall. You're looking at a void. As you jump through, essentially two feet of void, you, just get <laughs> you now jump through the immediate wall and manage to continue on your way. But some of these these chantry ways are just empty void space. So someone's dying. <laughs> Trevor, to hold the. Sorry about that. I uh, it got unplugged there for a minute. It's getting a little bit loose. Hold the USB in there. No, we're good, we're good. 
much. Okay, so you jump through. Thanks for that. <laughs> that section of the wall appeared to open up into void. You manage to make through. You're now on the opposite <coughs> side. You'd be up towards the individual. He does seem a bit shocked. Um, obviously, he's not aiming in the direction you're coming from. Uh, um, you'd be able to move up. Um, only with a dedicate could you attack at the end of this. How close am I? I would say you're within a meter of him. So you could dive over the barricade at him. A dedicate attack? It would give you a plus four. Plus four to my attack, huh? Mm-hmm. The only thing is you'd need to do a charge action to get this attack after you've jumped to the wall, but that, that would be the dedicated. The only downfall is if you don't, if you dedicate and you dick something up, you're liable to get shot next turn. Like you trip on the barricade or what have you. So I have to do a charge roll? Or nope, do it's just you have to make it a, you do it a dedicated and make it attack. And I'll dedicate. Magi dagger. Scarlet's with me? Yep. I'd say Scarlet's behind you and she yep. can't get a charge. By seven. By seven. So minus three for him. Uh, he's going to burn a fatigue, try to just knock you away with the gun. Um, he'll step back. So he's got plus two. Yeah, he does, unfortunately, step back. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, we're at B. You sure I didn't get skipped? She's gone twice before I've gone. We skipped you? I thought you went first this turn. He did. He was and then you did, what is it? Um, mm-hmm. yeah, so I'm Barton crazy? Okay. Yeah, Barton went first this turn. Yes. I can't remember what you did specifically. I'm You're building a primal flare, and then you said you didn't want to throw it because it wasn't powerful enough. It was in concussion. Grenade. Grenade. No, and then I said, what is it? Then when B happens at. Uh, what did I say? I believe B, you. B it's fine. had mentioned something to me before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was I, it. I Steve I was do talking. Anything. I was trying to explain the situation. Yep. That's okay. Is it my turn again? But the professor no, went it's after oh. I did. Okay. Yeah, because you're highest okay. in base speed. Okay. You go but first I before everyone. She was talking before. Yep. Pre- yep. Steve was explaining to Jolene in character that maybe you don't want to try to deflect harm. So Steve didn't do anything. Okay. So then we're at was it that was Rice's B. turn? Now it's B's. B's. And next is you. So is it it's your turn. turn. Yep. Yep. I wait for my shield to build. I'm tapping. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, I like saw him disappear on the corner, right? You saw him move through the wall. I'm going to do the duck and cover again. I don't think this thing can be everywhere. Okay. I'll take it bigger than minus two because I did say I was further away if you want. Okay. Um, minus. You'd have to take the bulk penalty on the weapon in addition okay. to the minus two. So minus five, I believe. Let me double check. Let me just my bulk. Um, it's two, so I'll take a total of minus four. Minus four, I have a 13, no range, two, four, eight, plus three. Um, there is a small... 16, yep, small chance I'd hit him. Yep. Yeah. I don't want to burn you. Looks like he's charged up. The individual has backed up and is rearing the gun, but it looks like his turn was aiming up the corner. I'm going to hit every surprised. shot anyway. I'll use my luck if I have to. 16. <laughs> so, so about that luck, huh? <laughs> Thirteen. I would hit by three, and what do I need to hit by to have every shot hit him? You'd imagine eleven. Oh, it wasn't excuse me, I'm eleven, but um, the recoil on that is one. You're within range with the accuracy on the weapon. I don't think he gave me a good accuracy, so it might not be very. It good. depends on what you've made on the prototype. Yep, I understand. I'm looking. I'm looking. Don't be blaming him for your inaccuracies. That's okay. All right. The accuracy determines the clustering range. So it has high accuracy at this range. It's good clustering. So I increase it for that's pretty good. Within twenty feet, then that clusters. You'd only have to make it by two, or oh. excuse me, by one with a so laser. I hit it every round. No reason for me to redirect. I take average damage on all those twelve shots. Okay. Well, I'll Maybe roll it here. So my distraction was helpful. <laughs> oh, yeah, otherwise you're gonna get, you're gonna get shot with eight rounds. I'm like you're gonna have to make a character because unless you can stop eight rounds of 34 damage. Uh, what are we here? That would be bad. Eight rounds of 34. As long as they weren't in the same spot. I'm fine. 
<laughs> They're almost like, hey, you shot my arm off. It doesn't yeah. take any more damage. Yeah. Uh, it looks like this guy's suit was pretty badly lit up. It goes up much quickly, uh, much more quickly, and you ultimately see that there's a burn mark on the far side of the corridor, kind of in that angle, okay. and he seems to kind of drop backwards. Clear. Looking around, Scarlet kind of tears at the other individual. It looks like they're both down and dead. Uh, you guys can go I'll out of combat rounds from what you understand. I'll finish stabbing them. Stab, stab, stab! So since I didn't put a um, quintessence into my... You can dissipate blast, the effect yeah. safely. Okay. Um, anyone uh, what's his face? Hunter took multiple shots. B took... Uh, uh, yeah. A oh. minor shot. If if the round actually okay. managed to hit her full force, someone stop my bleeding again, please. While I'm here, I'll use my monocle and search. I come over. I guess you gotta. Do you want me to do it mundanely? Ask him. Mm-hmm. Oh, here come. Monocle slot over here. Sure. Winnie, you're searching right now. The PCs are. I'm hoping to be magic, but for now, I give you back four hit points. You can just break. You can come back. stop the binding wounds. You can bind up the wounds. Um, it looks like you can but stop. But he just laughed. His arm is pretty badly on. messed up. Hey, buddy! <laughs> well, I've had so a you're taking some time. You. It's fairly quiet. Everybody, just come over where I'm at, and mm-hmm. we'll right. get everybody taken care of um, before I surge. What the hell is it? Otherwise, B, you're bleeding as well during this time period. Oh, I can assist with slap patch. <laughs> Give a slap Long patch on you. I got uh, doctor skip. Okay, I have to get him up. I already got low for him. All right. Uh, during that time period, I would probably say you bleed two more additional points, Hunter. Um, B. Can't we um, do both Yeah, potentially. Yeah. I, I'm just telling them what happened during oh. combat. Uh, B, I would say that you're slight, you're oozing from that side, but it wasn't too bad. It was like a, yeah. a good 45 round hit you, so uh, immediately you're not bleeding, but you'll be bleeding one a minute. Right. Who's hurt most? Uh, um, so, oh, while yeah. that's happening, if you want to go back, it, was, it only takes you a moment to bind his wounds okay. uh, with first aid. Hunter's the last He's currently searching, but that's going to take a little bit. I was just going to forego my search and start healing. I am the okay. okay. Who are you I healing? Uh, I whoever. Hunter. 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 I'm slightly negative. And are you healing the current wounds or the previous ones? <laughs> Whatever's bad. Then who am I healing? We can both heal him. You can heal me. We, okay. I mean, this is going to speed him up that much. He doesn't need to be healed. Give me a thaumatology. Thaumatology? Yep. For both of them? Uh, you'll, yeah, as soon as you, you can make your roll first. By five. By five? I need to pass pass first. Alright, then you can give me a thaumatology. You'll still get your plus threes. So by seven on that one, thaumatology. Thaumatology by one. Um, for whatever reason, the wounds that you start, was it the immediate wounds that are on Hunter and B, they don't bind. The magic seems well, to be going off, but they're not they binding. <coughs> it's you not dig, working. Dig these bolts out of me. You're pretty sure the ones in you probably overpenetrated, but there was some. I I don't know. It, I mean, it was probably it, fragments or something like that, right? Potentially, you you'd imagine that it deformed inside of you, and given the crystalline structure, it probably broke apart. Either way, when you're doing this, they're not healing mystically. Which it has to be. Good thing you did it mundanely. B is still bleeding. Oh. Ah. Slot patch. <laughs> you give me a first aid roll and a minus four on yourself. Do I get a bonus? Because if I you have don't have high pain threshold, you're an additional minus four. So just minus four. Man, I might not make it, guys. I need a thirteen. I have first Winning. Aid. So you can do it for me then. Go ahead. Just a like critical failure. <laughs> okay. Uh. For the most part, you can stop the um, bleeding. You'll get back um, two HP. Yeah. I will search on my. I will search in my monocle levels. <laughs> Please don't. I will search in my monocle levels I to could see use what's my laser gun to cut around, around them. Not healing. <laughs> There's nothing on the injury that shows anything that would stop the healing. Nothing temporal or spatial. No, there's nothing showing up. Dimensional. Oh, out. with your goggles. Um, there's a faint dark fluid signature, but it's relatively minor. It's oh. barely there. Ooh, I'll let you know. Why don't we place up everything they've got? Alright. Yeah. I will oh. specifically grab one of the rifles. Ooh, good for you. And I'll use for any ammo they have. I'll use the monocle. Taking a look at the rifles, they su- do seem to be some sort of modified bar. Do you have um, hypertech or small arms armory? No, but before I pick them up, I'm casting a primal flare. See if they're cursed. They're covered in weird um, 
tie strings with what appear to be human teeth, um, bits of flesh and other charms and weird fetishes. fetishes. They seem to be, you don't need armory to determine that these look like they're in poor disrepair, and there's no reason that these should be firing correctly. They're held together by the magic and twine. The <laughs> Mostly twine. <laughs> <laughs> Someone armed them? You don't know. Primal flare by six. Uh, on their persons, it seems as though there's a, uh, whatever the health suit they were wearing had a strong life, um, even a what is it a um, necrotic um, yep. resonance to it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Each of them hold probably about thirty-two quintessence in various formats. They're most likely from the downed um, people. Um, each of them carry what appear to be two minor. What is it? Each of them carry two minor power stone staffs, along with, um, what is it, three other um, mystically enchanted staffs of unknown nature. They have strange charms on their person. Uh, Scarlet doesn't like the smell of any of these charms, and neither does Puddin. The they seem to be made out of human flesh and they have, like, bits of gangly that he bullets. can't identify. Um, on their person, after what they have, it le seems like they have a case, uh, not a case, but a kind of a side pouches. They have each five more um, 20 magazine rounds. They seem to have strange feeding mechanisms. Um, uh, without armory, it's hard to tell, but it looks like they have five more of these oh. with a white bar around the bottom, and f four more that are untouched um, with a blue bar around the bottom. And the, like I said, each one the had five on and four, right? Hmm? Each one had five and four? Yeah. I You'd see that there are a few, probably about three or four more of the white band uh, magazines, but they're completely empty. Okay. I'll take a one of the lesser power I'm stones. I'll grab a gun and <coughs> one guy's power. You're going to take one of the power uh, stones? Mining, stone. depending on your ethics and your disadvantages, these are no. people's stuff People stuff that have most likely died I'll, in the hall. I want to see if, the, is there a name on it? Is there a true name on it? All these staffs are uh, given yeah. to someone. The, each, they didn't each, take these out of just yeah. an armory. Right. They, they also had three lesser ones, right? Each. Or so three total, unmarked total ones. Total of six uh, unmarked Enchanted, ones. you're not sure so what the enchantment is. Okay. So let's... Let, we can I just make the, the staffs, for certain, six. you imagine the quintessence is probably belonging to people, but the staffs certainly have their names right. actually let's on them. Now, mind you, you might not have any disadvantages yeah. towards that. It's yeah. just... We can take it and see if we... If you want to grab one and use it in the short term, that's fine. Yeah. Otherwise, there are bits gun? and Do fragments of the cloak left, no. but... I'm going to grab one of these guns and their pouches of ammo. You can give me a perception-based hypertech. Actually, a perception-based small arms is really more appropriate for these. I'm just calling it a demon gun. They, so you, you need to write down they look in poor disrepair, and yeah. I suppose, if anything, it doesn't look... These don't look like these came from these individuals. What was the name of the telekinesis spell? Um, uh, apportation. by seven. So, apportation, not apportion. By seven. There is, what is it? These are listed as HB bars... Um, there you would notice that there are signatures on here for what appear to be serial numbers from MI5. Um, one thing that you'll note that's strange is there are etchings on the bottom that have drawn out fish heads. Uh, oh. What is it, 14 on one and 9 on another one? One of the barrels looks like it was cut by something exceptionally sharp right at the tip. It probably affected its long-range accuracy, but at these ranges it probably didn't matter. Um, this, yeah. the gun itself <coughs> looks as though it doesn't have a firing pin. There's some sort of battery that turn was it electrocutes the powder and turns it into a plasma, which probably I more efficiently burns the powder and causes it to come out quicker. But that of course increases the recoil and the strength requirement. Um, the white ammunition that's coming out of here appears to be this weird crystal. The other ones seem to be kind of a blue solid metal, and okay. so they're obviously some sort of different rounds. Um, is there any deep on the language that has come up on these things? Not on these things, no. Okay. If anything, uh, they're with MI five numbers, you should be able to call someone and figure out where these came from. Where they were um, yeah. Otherwise, they look <coughs> like they have had a lot of battle damage, probably for like more than a month or two. Um, yeah. So this is not their first venture. It seems like whoever the hell was holding onto these didn't know how to repair them. Has been using minor um, trinkets here and there, but it looks like they're pa placed at key places on the gun because a lot of the major mechanisms are coated in thomium. Unfortunately, it looks as though this gun is exceptionally uh, effective against Order Hermes, especially given their tactics. Alright. You know, I bet it'll also go through a demon lord. I don't want with a white bar on them. 
And otherwise, there's a thing, dark fluid signature from the gun itself, but otherwise, mystically does not show up. Only I the charms do. I don't do. want to use these myself, but is there any way, um, are we collecting these? You would also see on their person that they probably have, um... All the guns have been pleased out. And, like, the charms the and stuff? Don't take the charms. Don't touch them. See, it'll the be charm? see, it'll Puddin be doesn't charms. like the charms, nor the, the coat made out of people faces. Well, I mean, for the Let's just gather it up. If you want to... <coughs> Just I'm gather it up. I'm gonna roll it up. Crowning my guano. We can destroy I, I it. Them, but maybe the Ordu Hermes Five want eggs to, with a white bar and how many research them? Research them? And then four or maybe, with the blue. Um, we'll we'll round them off. Yeah, sure, we'll give them that. We round them off. <coughs> sure, there's, I'm sure there's nothing. Like I said, I mentioned they have a lot of quintessence on their person, too. Like, like 64, demons. you said. 32 each, right? Hmm? Yep, 32 each. Yep, so I round that up. So I grabbed 32 quintessence. The heads of the so bullet is in the blue bar. So he's grabbed 32. That means somebody else can grab. Well, 32. actually, you had it rounded. You were rounding it up first, so. Are the quintessences bad? Not from what you can tell with the primal flare. It doesn't look like there's any residences on it. He said it looked like they grabbed them off of Chantry. People. Yeah, they're all in the same Chantry specific vials. And did you write all this stuff down? or? I did the staffs. Yeah, but if you guys want the, the if you want the quintessence, if we can divvy up the quintessence for the people. I've written down um, a gun and I, I wrote down thirty two and I wrote down the staffs except for the one with the power stone you took. There's two power stone ones. Right. What can I have? Just talk to the pieces. What do you want? Um, anything that I can use. And you a staff with a power stone on it. Give her some quintessence. I give you sixteen. You guys can determine uh, uh, depending on what you do with it. <coughs> so, I don't. I I still have the stash of quintessence no. from the last one, so I'm I fine on that. What else? What else? Staff with a power stone. Lesser power stone. Yeah, it's a lesser power stone. I should say it's a power stone staff. The whole staff um, easily channels quintessence, and you can address it all at once. So it's different than storing quintessence in your staff. Um, theoretically, if this was placed alone in an area, it would recharge itself over days. Can Give her twelve of your power stone staff. Yep, a power stone staff. Okay. So if we just have some of that quintessence sitting right beside it, it could draw from that. And the vials are somewhat protected. It would try but to draw ambient. If you poured it out, it would try to draw Why do you want just, it? Just give her 10 quint quintessence. Why does she want it? Because she's a magic user and she's going to use it. I've been burning through it like crazy. I know. You know. So, 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 she, so Trevor, just give her ten. Burton is using the rules of dibs. I grab it and put it in. Exactly. Well, that was a I game. sleep with it. You had, you had if, 32. If, if, it was a, if, give her ten. If we were going to play the rules of dibs, then I would have took the 16. But you gave her 16, so then I'll be down to 22. She'll be up to 26. Rules of dibs say. You wouldn't have had this 32. I would have had them all. Let's see how you're I said I was like <laughs> grabbing by, a gun. And by that argument, if we're both using pistols and I go fully automatic every turn, and you hear conservative, I need the ammo more. Yeah. I only give you 12. What, what's you'd imagine you that, ten? right? I'll give you 12. What? I said you'd imagine that, Just right? Just give her 10. That's what I Fine, asked Fine, i give you 10. However, whatever, it seems like that laser was very effective. You've got a total um, of 20. It seems as though they had built up minor defenses regarding... The, like when he came out with magic, it seems like they were full-on ready for that. They were a little bit surprised by some other shit, and they didn't really know how to handle your laser pistol. Winning! <laughs> Every once in a while that happens, people. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, the fuck? Yeah. That's why I want to Initially, I mean, my arms somebody shot. fired at him. They're like, thought it was some sort of magical item. And they hit him. They're like, oh shit, we should deflect harm. Then Plus, apparently there's a light like, beam of light under I their perception. Yeah, the can't thing is, you could trade it in for other things from the, the chantry. Yeah, depending, oh, that, that and mind me. you, like <coughs> I said before, caveat to that, you guys are looting the dead that they looted. Well, so I'm the chantry might be like, huh. I didn't say it was keeping it. I'm burning it like crazy in all these fights. Can you help me tighten up these harnesses here? I'm putting on my accordion. Me too. You don't. <laughs> you're pretty confident that these rifles didn't come from the chantry, so. Oh, just to let you know. Jump it through the wall. Not the smartest idea. So, you went through can a I angle also or too. transfer. Well, there were some. Sp I know it's in between the, the walls now. I got back into my nothing? little insta Lots of nothing. Quintessence things. Or can know. I just <laughs> insta burn it from these vials? You cannot insta. I was brave. You can burn it from a vial, but you only can address one at a time. I have to, say, I have to think time. twice now about doing that. So, again. I would like to put them back in my insta burn containers then. Okay, I'll take my dial up. What? Two. Click. What? Do I need rolls or? Three. I have no idea. Sixteen. I will find you. I do smile when I do it, though. I'm trying to remember. I think I dialed mine up to four when I shot it. It was horrible. 
I had to, it was getting pushed back. I was like, Can you see by three? Shoving shit in my ears. And part of that is shock. I mean, do you get any welders goggles or anything? Are these? Look at my point. Are these? No, goggles. Huh? Those goggles. goggles. You haven't heard any other noises. You do occasionally hear. um, So why don't you take one? By this time, it's actually kind of died down a little bit. You guys haven't heard too much. Like a pirate patch. At least that when we shoot, we close the good eye, and the other eye is open. So my condo is by three. Okay. You can fill Goggles the back up and slipping lenses, suited for snow glare, darkened for deserts, polarized for glare. All right. I put them all in one. <laughs> so can I have one of those lenses? Yep, you can have can one of my lenses. Out? So can you help s- strap out? it on my head? So I'm like a pirate? Yep, I'll strap it on your can head. Okay, out? thank you. Mm-hmm. I just shove it in my old piece of junk goggle. It doesn't work. All right, so then you get some of that wax. I'll put it in my question. Why is Vance Delusion I'm going to put it in my left star. ear. You want brown or taupe? Chantry <laughs> magic. Break it off half an inch. Can't hear star. No, nope, um, I'm putting it in one ear. It's oh, you cool. didn't star lightning bolt or fireball. Risky. Leave your right ear open. Which would have been. Oh, the <laughs> uh, that means that there's a special property to it. Um, advanced illusion, I think, creates certain effects. Was it a? It kind of shows a heat signature. It also shows kind of other things of that nature. But unless you want it to show up on primal um, detection and possibly life force, you have to burn quintessence. Because otherwise, if somebody looked at, it would look like an illusion that's hot. But if somebody had uh, goggles of revealing, you'd have no prime, very little primal energy, okay. um, and it would have so no life force. Magically, it would look illusion. real with quintessence. Otherwise, it would yeah. pass normal visual inspection and even thermal. Um, and depending on how hard they interact with it, also quintessence might be helpful because the illusion might be able to take a direct hit if it's powered by quintessence. It's been fairly quiet. Um, like I said, you just took probably about 10, 15 minutes to get up to here. You occasionally still kind of hear... Check the pile of bodies. There's, any there's survivors still work at all in this? Uh, no, there might have been some time ago, but given how much time passed, it looks like pretty much everyone here is bled out. How far there might be, <sighs> theoretically, some pe- areas where this guy has gone around, and uh, there might be survivors in the nearby areas that you guys haven't come to yet. We need to get out of this section. This is pretty much near the, the lane. <coughs> So we need to get back to, Let's pull to back. your. Yep, I agree. To which area? The to the European area, okay. where the back to the fallback to where uh, the the healers are. Just say heads up. I will shot fire in the hall, and then you should close your eyes and plug your ears. Yeah, get over here. You see, I'm wearing my camera. All right. You would have come across one of the bodies, uh, one of the novices. Um, I would say you would have come across the staff as well. He did kind of. Fairly uh, accurately matched the description of one of the people that you were looking for, the woman asked. Is he dead? He's dead. It looks like he was shot. Grab a staff. What's under the mask? It just seems to be the individual looks like he's from Nepal. Uh, oh, excuse me, there's two masks on there. The masks are extremely disorienting and uh, um, make you sick a little bit. Okay. I mean, they remind you of the king in yellow. They are, they do resonate with all sorts of magic. Um Mainly madness, but for a reason they don't. Behind. They don't seem to Shadows. perfect it. Destroy him. I'll try to disintegrate him. Okay. You can give me a. Are you trying to carve it into the mask itself, or foxfire? You? Okay. You can give me a foxfire roll. Let's see the drawing then. Foxfire by four. Simple drawing by six. Okay. Then you sigil. And you're piling them up and doing that, or are you doing it separately for each one? I'll pile them up and do it. Oh, I'll use the, the staff and. Okay. Whoop. Um, by five. Okay. You can give me a fright check. It's going to be at a minus 12, so minus 16 for both of them. Mm, nice. I might be going nuts, though. Minus 16. Can he spend willpower? <laughs> he can spend willpower to get a plus two, but then it'd be one out down after this. Yeah, that's it's a it's a it's a, it's a thirty downward spiral. <laughs> can he spend quintessence? No. Dex. T. <laughs> Part of his soul. Howl like a madman. I will give you a uh, a plus seven from your previous mental okay. barrier. So a minus nine. There you go. It's only turned not so bad at all. I don't even know what you're worried. Can they send 
You don't know if they can sense you or not. When you approach this intersection, you guys were searching for stuff, looking made for made bodies. Noises. You're making probably as much noise as they were making. They were probably jingling around, looting the dead, just like you. And at some point in time, you both realized that there was some asshole around the corner. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you guys were creeping up the corner. They were pulling over a body and aiming down the hallway. And that's when the fun started. So when you make it by? Hold on. I'm still trying to do that math. Yeah. Confuse you. Did I get anything I mean, from did it. my word pirate <laughs> too? Because it did mental. Not for this purpose, no. Okay then. I am looking. Failure is indicated. Not that much though. I could do. Maybe I'll only lose a little bit of fatigue and are stunned a bit. Yeah. Uh, on the first one. First one. It's just one roll. Oh. So don't take your best roll of two. You take one of the <laughs> first one. Was. Well, my second roll is a plus nine, so I made that straight up. <laughs> If I make a few more rolls, it might be bad. <laughs> and combat reflexes adds to that? Yeah. This is but that's cool. added into your fright check there, if that's what you're checking. Alright. So, I missed it by one. Yeah, that's that's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. God, if you just spend that willpower, you'd have made it. Yep. <laughs> you would have. Nope. Frog has sense it was Frog's Thomas face that I killed. Damn it! Frog's dead, I say! Uh, where Where's Thomas? He felt slipped back into a coma. We pushed him into a coma. It happened. I caught. No, he's, he's working like Thomas? mad on his power suit concept. You'll acquire a new mental quirk. We don't think he's actually working. It's regarding pale, smooth faces. Uh, <laughs> you know, doll faces? Ultimately, <laughs> you guys are kind of... <laughs> like doll faces. Like doll faces would do it, yeah. We go into the... Harlequin the, masks. The American girl. He's like... <laughs> She'd have be pretty, pretty uh, pale. <laughs> he freezes up. <laughs> the doll store. It's only a quirk. But ultimately, he places the two masks a little bit away from you guys. He starts to do the fairy fire effect, and there's some sort of kind of... Appears to be some sort of weird spirit that is released and then evaporates very rapidly. Ark of the Covenant esque, and he kind of looks back like, they're both gone. <laughs> <laughs> but they kind of just waft up around him like a gasoline fire, and he's like, ah! Who knew or, it would explode? You're okay, buddy? Pale faces. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth pale faces. You're lucky, that was nice. Zero points. Dolls, Harlequin. Zero points. Yep. That's what right. he really doesn't get skill points. Can he, he buy it? With? Can he buy it off? How do you, that's easy to buy off then. That's been zero. All right. Off. All right. So so far, I mean, you still occasionally hear um, noises a little bit further in, um, but at that point in time, you're probably going to be getting into thicker combat. So it's up to you guys whether or not you want to start helping. We, we with. need to heal up then again. I think we need to. We've done what we can for a I'll while. Be like, I'm good. And pull back. Right. Coming back, there are a few people that kind of come out from some protected areas. It seems as though they are held up. They heard people getting gunned down. There's an additional seven people here. Um, they said that a few of them tried to run probably about ten minutes ago, and that was around the time period you guys were coming up here, and you heard gunfire. Yeah, um, they'll start to head with you guys off into the protected areas. Ultimately, you'll collect another 15 to 16 people coming through here. Um, it gets fairly quiet after that. Um, from what you understand, there's other people in different sections that are doing this kind of stuff as well. Um, after about 15 minutes as you move back, you come across what appears to be strange white spirits. Initially, you kind of pull up, but it seems as though Chief Crow is kind of coming through the area. Um, you had met him prior. He was a spiritual expert inside of, uh, what is it, when you guys went to the um, uh, Mount Everest mountain range. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it seems as though he's guiding various... Um, um, air, or is it um, sky spirits through the region, hunting for survivors and anyone else. Okay. Um, you are aware that he is um, a master, um, but he's a little bit far back. Otherwise, he tells you where to go if you need to, and if you need any assistance that he can immediately provide you with. Are we still needed here? Or? He says, from what he's heard, 95% of the people in the affected areas have been evacuated from. He can only assume that anyone else that hasn't been accounted for and uh, hasn't made it back here already they're going to continue to start looking for the remaining people, but at this point in time, it's um, Should we be collecting it's more of like a ground zero where they're going in, and it's going to be days trying to hunt down the remaining people. We just got we tell them the section we hit up and what we faced, and he'll mark that and he'll hold onto the stone and detail pretty much everything that you guys had told him, presumably to other people. Do they want us to start gathering bodies so they can 
their idea. Identifications to uh, they're going to do a few more sweeps looking for survivors. Oh, is that um, any other Chocho or Nefandi in the region outside the wards? They're going to start setting up um, secondary wards. Um, and then, um, what the hell is it? Depending, they might try to evacuate depending <coughs> on how the situation with the tribunal members has gone. Do you still need to sign a primary defense on they would. He would said that he would appreciate any kind of defense whatsoever. What about the frog? The frog thing that was here. Was it a Trojan horse? Story. Was it a Trojan oh. horse? He Chief there, Pro just will is not super familiar from what he understands. Though Michael Larson was very um, concerned about this individual passing the ward, and he hasn't read the literature specifically. I mean, this is there's thousands of people within the chantry, but apparently. Uh, the individual matched a description short time after the King in Yellow had somehow made it in interior to the base. From what they understand, um, the tribunal, was it six of the remaining tribunal members are currently fighting with a, he'll say, an unknown individual. Um, it looked pretty bad initially, however, it seems as though they're managing to hold this creature off and he's being shunted from the Chantry, but he's continually getting updates on the situation. Okay. And so the new person that arrived that's lending aid is still in the fight? Um, he, from what he understands, and he can't confirm this, but it seems as though he was a major factor in the outcome of what's happening currently. They were on the ropes, and all these individuals, he would say, is roughly equivalent in power to this king in yellow, which he doesn't understand. He's not sure if that's correct, mm -hmm. but from what he's being fed from one of the other ma was that tribunal members, that's what's happening in there. Okay. You're welcome. All right. What area on the thing where you want us to hit up next? What section? Just stand here and defend. Uh, certain areas. He'll have you go out with teams and I'll kind of fast track it a little bit. Uh, yeah. You guys do get a few more. Um, what is it? The structure does rupture. You guys will kind of uh, roll across one or two kind of low level chochos in the area. And they know basic magic and stuff like that. Nothing as nasty as what you just came across. Um, you guys, along with uh, was the Chief Crow and a few other teams that you're set up with, kind of steamroll over any remaining people that had gotten this too far in between, uh, was it behind enemy forces? Um, over the next day or so, uh, it seems as though the, the main ward collapses. It seems as though um, some fragment of the King in Yellow had escaped. They weren't, they don't know how to kill it to begin with, but it looks as though it, it the fight was, um, the fight was drawn out of it, so it left. Okay. Um, shortly thereafter, it seems as though they're collecting and starting to check dead now. Um, they're comp permanently shutting off certain sections of the Chantry, leading off into Nepal. So a lot of China, Australia. Um, uh, th there's one, I would say there's one heading to Australia from southern uh, Africa, but a lot of the areas around China, Japan, uh, northern Russia, Indonesia. and um, Indonesia, um, also, India, mainland India, are, are just shut off. They don't go anywhere anymore. So those Chantry members in the affected areas have to find alternative means of getting back to the Chantry. Um, otherwise, yeah, like, like I said, it, t it takes a few days for them to kind of collect up, and they're able to secure the Chantry down again, but they're revising their protocols regarding people getting into the Chantry. They've done this before, but uh, not to the extent where they're now sectioning it up into areas where they are destroying it. Mm -hmm. So they're eyeing the areas and shutting down certain ways so there's only one-way bridge tunnels so they can blow up bridges if anything Did like Althea this and that. Escape? Althea was in the European area, so she was out well outside the affected area. She was a researcher, so she ultimately helped setting up some of the runes going out with teams later on, but a day and a half passes by. You guys can get healed up. Um, the wounds from those <coughs> objects, it seems as though there's some sort of what they would tell you is uh, some sort of foreign uh, powder um, along the exit wound. In your case, there's actually a physical bullet that they pull out of you. It looks like it uh, imploded kind of in the area. It didn't cut more into the area, but it, rather than mushrooming, it simply broke into smaller pieces. Yeah. And they can't affect it without significant intervention of magic, which they don't want to be throwing that much magic into your chest well, in case something happens. Mundanely, I say we got a surgeon in here. Yep, they'll bring in a surgeon. Ultimately, yeah. you guys can... Uh, they can't pull out the powder residual completely. It'll have to work its way out of your system. So that you can both get... You'll get back eight. You'll get back four. And um, they give you certain um, alchemical ingredients that should somewhat bind to the compounds and pass it through your system. But they can't heal the wound anymore until that shit's out of there. So they heal up everything other than those wounds that I suffered? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Same for the rest of you. They'll repair... Um, 
uh, wounds that also give you a, um, what is it, your hand is fine, so you guys can heal up your remaining wounds. Including the psychological? They do have people here that you could talk yeah, to regarding that. Yeah, that's something we gotta work on. Yeah. I would like to work on that. Your psychological? Yeah. Work on jabs, or do you have one of your... Oh, oh yeah. You have yeah. another yeah. one of those things I'm gonna have to deal with. Otherwise, uh, what is it? We somewhat skipped over it um, before, but I'd probably say there was a delay, and they were double-checking things. But you know, in two days na- to now, Riker is going to be putting online the transatlantic gate system. Um, other than that, you don't necessarily have anything on your agenda. The, the oh, yeah, someone has power uh, shuts down the buffers around uh, New York. I think I better go talk to him and see what he's doing. The uh, sure he's what have you. The Chantry is still collecting bodies and other things of that nature. You're not necessarily need for that. There doesn't seem to be any more immediate threat to the Chantry other than they've lost their foothold into the DePaul region. So <coughs> they're now on their plan B of curtailing it. So they imagine it's going to expand a good bit into China, down into, uh, what is it, um, Indonesia, um, India, Nepal, and kind of down near New Guinea. Um, so they expect it to expand three or four times before they can corral it in again. Um, that's it for the most part. You guys can we, decide we, what you want to do. Are with we somebody. able to find out that Lana gets hooked into the chantry and introductions are made? And Depending on what you guys do. You haven't heard... So a day that, and a half what, has that, passed by. I'll try to find a hold of Lars and see if he's got his VIP plugged in the way okay. he needs to be plugged in. Um, initially, he apparently is talking to the tribunal members. He no longer is sure what exactly <coughs> is happening. Yeah. Um, he'll most likely be told shortly thereafter. So he, he, all he can do right now is wait. Okay. Um, he says, however, he was a critical factor in dealing with the creature, and he's never seen a mage as strong as an avatar of an outer god, but obviously it's not to the point where he's going to be taking down Cthulhu. But okay. they understand from his background he has a full understanding of the new language along with other things, and um, he is very worried that whatever tried to squash them out prior... There might be old runes or rituals or things coming now back online that he is... From what he understands is there has been a release of some sort of signature when something happened. He'll tell you the area that um, they've detected. There was some sort of strange signature that came from the Yith site. He doesn't know about the Yith site, but he tells you the area. Roughly from, since B has edict memory, roughly the exact same time that he took off that sigil off his forehead. And he's worried that if anyone's currently looking for La Na, they're... They can find them. them. Well, they're just aware that there's <coughs> now one left. Right. So we, he's busy right now, La Na? He says that Larson doesn't even know what's happening at the moment. That's He'll fine. tell you as soon as he knows anything more. But the tribunal members know who he is and all the, the rest He of says, from what he understands, the tribunal members specifically took a council with him. And from also what he understands is they. he was far more adept at fighting these creatures than the tribunal members. It seems as though the weaponry, he had on him, even his tactics were geared to fight things like this. Okay. So what the madness again? He says the madness... Outer deities. He's the only one that was able to really hurt the creature. He literally, they believe, cut off a piece of the creature's pattern. Okay. Well, what do we do from here then? Um, Because they'll they'll tell you that some of the outer tribunal members had literally disintegrated the thing with primal blasts and it just reformed. We can wait till the tribunal convenes and then. See what happens. I'm going to go for the big opening of the transit. Well, yeah, you, should, you should go and take care of that. The only thing to put in with uh, Larson is that if it comes up, you know, let the council members know or want to know that we're trying to take a shot back at the plateau line. Mm-hmm. And if there's... Um, he says their utmost priority right now is stopping the madness and shutting down... Uh, they would love to shut down the plateau, and if you ever have a solid plan about doing that, he says that he can... Well, my point is, is that there might be some way to kind of recrawl this thing if we take a shot in there, and maybe Lana knows something that would be... He said he imagined that's probably what the tribunal members are contacting him, or talking to him about right now, is some way to stop whatever the hell's happening. All right. The Go estimates on. are based on outdated, er, I shouldn't say outdated, but modern information regarding what's happened before. They have secondary wards in place if something like this happened, 
but they can't stop it from expanding does, out right now. Does that grace help you with dodging? It gives you a dex bonus, so yeah, it would. Uh, Big be time. <laughs> Because you know what, you, you, what you can do every time before an, uh, an adventure starts, you can charge that, and it sits there, but it, it will de- decompose after so many hours. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's always nice to have running in the background. Because you, know, it's like it's like having a luck for death. Talking to Larson though, he would identify that you do have some object on your person. He would say that you can keep the quintessence. He'll even provide you with um, alternative power stones. With the rod, the staffs that you've collected, I, I turn all that stuff. Yeah, are equivalent of dog tags, and he yeah. would like to retrieve those and give those to family members. That's fine. He yeah. would, however, provide you with equivalent uh, power <coughs> stone staffs. Okay. Lesser or the, equivalent to what you had. It's just those specifically were given to people, and okay. Like I said, they're effectively we, dog tags. No, we, I mean, yeah, we'll give them yeah, everything we give they him, have. Give them anything they want. Um, he doesn't know anything about the. Um, the guns, and he says that uh, you know, they were, from what he understands, they were exceptionally effective. The most novices can stop even fifty cal rounds with deflect harms. It's just that's probably what their, their basic defense was: is they saw somebody point a gun at them and they threw a deflect harm, and the bullet like, passed right is, through. Is the spatial master here? Like, in they say that there is a spatial master here. Um, there's also a tribunal spatial. Did, did anyone try folding space as like a reverse? He'll tell that, that apparently folding space, it literally cut through the affected space and it wouldn't go through. Okay. So, so just, there were some mages that attempted. The only ones that managed to get away uh, or at least fight back were the ones that teleported completely. But any interaction with the bullet trying to deflect it, veer it away, um, somehow bend it's the space anti-magic. between it, it just cut through it. What if he made like a mundane wall in front of you, but you used magic to make that mundane wall? He says that he would imagine that would affect it. Other than from what he saw, the rounds were very f- powerful. Yeah. They, they cut through walls. Just spell it? Right. I'm just wondering. Yeah. So he says it's unfortunate because it took multiple casualties for people to realize that they had to dodge and drop away from it. And he's going to try to contact MI. Uh, you didn't mention anything about MI5. He'll ask you if you know anything about that those weapons because we that's everything. unlike anything that the Chocho have ever used against does them before. He w- does he want one to study? Their people are not terribly effective. He says that he wouldn't mind you sending one over to MI5, but of course, if you say that... That's what I'll do. I'll take the one I have. And he says... You don't have to send the gun necessarily. I'll, I'll make the phone send a couple They're going to update some of their uh, advanced tactics now that they know that some of those might be in existence. Um, it's unfortunate that they saw it this time. Um, do they know that, like, if we describe the demonic ward they were using, do they know what that is? Do they have some equivalent? Because it seems... He very says open that the bag. Here you go. Like face cloaks... And yeah. All kinds of He'll tell you that the what is it, they wrap themselves around life force, so ultimately you're eating through stolen life forces, ultimately giving them extra HP, close to about 50, which you just got had to be destroyed first. Yeah. Um, they had various evil bits and charms and kind of uh, things pulled from uh, spirits and um, humans, very most likely unwillingly. And they, uh, they were curse and um, curse and um, uh, luck charms. He says he imagines that's probably why the guns continue to fire, even though they're mostly made out of thomium. Right. Um, enough in the critical areas could keep the weapon firing. The same reason that you might have saw your hits, like, for whatever reason, not hit squarely, just like some sort of wind or just odd. So do they have an equivalent? He said that the Chocho uh, are a mystical people, so he had imagined they have their own spells and Does rituals the and rites. have an equivalent such... Blocking sigil. Yep, pentagram um, is a They've ward that can. Um, even when you guys had arrived, uh, Michael Larson threw up a similar pentagram ward. He assumed that you probably were going to attack him with magic before he realized who you were, and it was fairly impressive. It was actually a lot better than the people that those use. So, was, was there a cat equivalent to that? Not that you're aware of. Yeah, cats just dodge. However, the name. cats generally just dodge shit. Yeah. The cats have spells that make them really good at dodge and shit. I learned cat sprays from um, uh, Puddin. Yep, I think uh, Puddin has that. Um, so what are we doing? Like, are we? We need time to go by. The chantry is cleaning up. You guys have some injuries that aren't healing normally. Yeah. You have some. You have some alchemical points. compounds that are trying to bind yeah, onto the object, provided you drink it every day. Oh, I drink <coughs> it every day. Um, like I said, the the chantry uh, was it. Michael Larson identified that. Um, 
uh, the, the stuff that you were picking up. He said if, if you want to keep the quintessence, it's completely fine. The staffs, he would give you equivalent staffs, but the ones with people's names etched on them, he would want them back. Okay. So he'd give you power stones that are equivalent. Yeah. Or I'll, was it I'll power take stone one, I'll take another staff. Okay. <clears throat> but so I didn't have one of the power stones. How hurt are you? So. Like, so did they have some, what was like the you need to be resting or like there was there was you two power stone staffs per person. Were they lesser or they just power stone? Oh, so there's a total of four. Yep. Oh, okay. I and they were level eight. I'm going to level help eight power stone staffs. Yep. So what's eight? that mean? They yeah. can store so up to eight before they. You'd have to force charge them. That's their normal. And they'll recharge up to eight over the period of I want to say. So those are the two things I want to do. I'm gonna say eight days. If they'll charge they need up to another one. Or can you can have one, multiple. No, excuse me. It'll be it'll be eight weeks okay. for them to charge like that. Okay, so one per week. The offer. Yeah. Okay. But it, it, this would do it passively. However, if you have a bunch of them in the same area, it's kind of like a um, a water con- or is it a um, dehumidifier? Right. It, it they start to run it, over each other. Yep. But now, if you had like just free quintessence, and you're like, okay, this was in this bubble bath, and this was in this bubble bath, then I don't really remember, right? You could. For, was it? They would be not ambient, that, and not, assuming not it's evaporating, it would start to pick it up. Um, but you'd, if you wanted to force charge it, you'd have to force charge it. It only picks up ambient energy. Well, well right, but I'm saying if you had it in a container, quintessence in a container, and then you put the power stone in the container with the quintessence, wouldn't it absorb the quintessence? Um, not forcing it, but just over the normal t- recharge. Over time, time, yes, it would. Right. It okay. would recharge quicker. It just If you poured it all over it, the quintessence would evaporate quicker than it would pull into the staff. Right, no, I'm saying put it in the container, so it yep. sucks it up, basically. And you can have multiple power stones. Yep, it just said... It's it, just with the recharge. You only can address so one at a time, and if there's multiple in an area, they won't charge. Only one will charge. Right, until it's full, and then they'll yeah. Eight weeks, right? Oh, God. They charge one a week. So but, well, how much quintessence was in the one that was there? The ones they give you, probably two. Uh, actually, with the quintessence you guys picked up from the various sources, they would let you keep that, and just they would be not tapped off. Okay. But then you guys got a fair amount. Very salvage. They give us an estimate on when they think the wounds are going to heal up, drinking the alcohol. And Provided you have a doctor, which you can come to the chantry if you want to as well, but you also know there's a physician on site at the bees facility. Um, they would imagine you get back two to three HP per day. Okay. Do they have um, research facilities over in Europe? It went up. Research facilities over in Europe, libraries, things of that still? Or where they, they, they where do, do they in Europe. Um, and Europe and Cairo, they did have some in London, but London, for the most part, has been cut Shut off. off yeah. They do have means of forcing entry into London, but That's okay. they're on high alert, so there's kind of, they would say a web, uh, like a web completely surrounding the area, and they often pick up and attack sites that try to travel through. Okay. Uh, they've even run across ambushes of known <coughs> locations where people are entering into the the London Isles. Right. So it's a very precarious situation. I tell the group, I'm just going to go over to Europe, I'm going to do some research on normal, I'll see what I can find out about it. If I find everything out, I'm going to start researching the plateau line, what's in this paradox, and all the other kind of bad mojo I got currently burning. Are you going to England where you're going to interact with the MI5? Or you can just take this gun. I'm not going to England. Okay. There's no passageways. And the gun is their gun. I don't think you need to send that. If anything, just send them a couple bullets. Okay. A couple bullets and the serial number. Yeah. And you've got the transatlantic gateway, so you well, can hand it to them. If they can we'll find out if I got a If they can gateway. fix the gun, though, you might as well send it. B thinks that she could fix the gun. Yeah. It's just these people obviously had no idea what the hell they were doing. I don't think that. There's nothing special about the gun. It was all in the bullets. Okay. The only thing that's special about the gun is that the gun charms. The gun looks like the gun major sections of the. Special, the gun looks like it had a battery in it. It looked like it no, ignited no, no, the charge. Right. I, the I, rounds were strange, and it is partly coated in thalmium. Right. I get it. It's beefed up, and it's kind of special, but it's the bullets. You think the bullets were what was the deciding factor against these yeah. magi? Yeah, it's the composition of that slug that matters. I will stay here and just wait. The Chantry? And I will try, while I'm waiting at the Chantry, I'll try to learn, uh, shrug it off. Okay. Can I spend experience points? At this point in time, we'll start to go into downtime. We can start to spend experience points. Um, later that night, I'm assuming all of you will sleep at the Chantry for the first night yep. as you guys are doing recovery. Yeah, sure. Um, a good amount of people managed to make it back. <clears throat> They're only... 
if anything, a very small portion of their people actually died. The only problem is it was a lot of their um, higher tier that were on the front lines near the entry point in Nepal. They did fall back, but there is a noticeable, um, what is it, lacking of uh, their high level, uh, I should say, high level. they lost a lot of good, very capable magi in the ensuing fight. They did a lot of damage towards the, ma was it, in the madness, but um, it's not necessarily losses that they would have wanted to take. So it's kind of demoralizing, perhaps? It's very demoralizing. A lot of people are still finding whether or not their friend is alive. They'll kind of come back, and occasionally they might give them their staff or something like that equivalency. Um, a lot of people just will never know what happened to them. Um, so it's, it's very traumatic. Everyone's very demoralized. But luckily, mental training is one of the things that the younger order uh, initially start working with. So these people are a lot more mentally hardened than your standard individual. Okay. So that works in their favor. But yeah, it's very demoralizing. Uh, not only that, but it wasn't too long ago that where they completely stopped the advance of the, um, ra the, the ravenous madness storm, and they thought that there was a turning point to the war. Sounds like everyone needs some dairy queen. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to Shazam out dilly bars. <laughs> Later on, so at the end of the um, time period, assuming the Chantry um, are all, um, what is it, the, everyone's staying at the Chantry for the first night. Yep. Hey, Rice, what's the difficulty on counter magic? I think it's uh, easy. Mm, counter <laughs> magic? Counter easy. magic's hard. Yeah, hard. Yep. Um, it could be harder if the complexity is level. It, is it sigil invocation or is it gesture? Is it just. This counter spell is sigil based and it works best against chantry like spells that use sigils. It's not as effective against feline spells just because. Ca my counter magic is chantry based. It would work very well against symbol-based magics. So it's it does. Sigil from what you understand, yep, it does work against other types of spells. It's just it's not as effective. Did you steal all the quintessences? Uh, the, the cats would use some sort of. Um, the twelve. They actually do have a spell for that. The cats have a counter spell. Um, it's either break the flow or counter yeah, flow. Yeah, there's break eight the flow. Break eight the flow and counter flow. Yeah. And it's sure. mostly um, kind of an opposing dance. The more valuable thing was the Breaking crystal. Flow. I guess these were all There's crystal vials, vials, though, weren't they? There we should be yeah. a counterflow. Were there extra crystal vials? Or I have four extra. Yep, counterflow. Okay, from him? From, yeah. And those are gesture-based, the and they're mostly in. interpreting the person's movements and then no, countering the crystal. Them. These are just stable containers for it. All right, later that night... Um, I would say that you guys feel a presence and all wake up at the same time. You all in a pile sleeping like sheep. Yeah, you're <laughs> like puppies. <laughs> you guys all have your own bunk yep. room, but essentially you're all in the same room. There's probably uh, a separate bathroom in here. And I, so would, and so forth. I would go so far to say as we probably still have a, 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 a watch. A watch. <laughs> okay. You're just outside your door. There are watches running, but if you guys want we to, we have one inside our room watch. too. The know. person on watch would feel kind of a strange presence, and then also everyone else would wake up around the same time period, um, pretty much within seconds of each other. Okay. Um, at this point in time, there's an audible glow from the middle of the room, at which point Lana appears in that position. Um, you don't have any detective magics up, depending on who is up and running. Um, Maybe he's got a way to get rid of her house. But, uh, it's like, no, you're screwed. <laughs> Lana will tell you <laughs> that from what he understands based on the images that he had pulled from you is that your friend, the one named Franck Liberté, yep. has become the avatar of the king in yellow. Yeah, he's an avatar. He no, did! He did! All right. Um, he says he... It's just we didn't save him in time. Now he's not sure if the process could ever be... Um, the he's process dead. could ever be reversed. It's just the, the opposing force is now completely intermingled. They're one and the same, and the madness rules. So theoretically, your friend is still in there. I will, however, tell you that he was able to cut a fragment of the entity, and he believes that there is part of his soul that still resides in the fragment, and he believes that using the power of his mantle, he could reconstitute Franck Liberté, just one that wouldn't... He said that it would equivalently be Franck Liberté, it's just there would also be another counterpart that is still in existence. And so it may come one day that, if he were to do that, that the other Franck would try to make himself whole again. Okay. So one, no. No. I like it. 
I know. Why wouldn't we say yes? The mantle he's holding is apparently that strange multi-layer change symbol that he pulled off from his head. Will it decrease your power greatly or something, sir? He says no. He's already made the decision that he's going to attempt to follow the path that the silver ladders put forth. He tells you back during the was it the the war of was it the war of the great lie? He'll tell you that half of the council determined that they could raise themselves to the power of gods and fight the other gods and bring them down. The other half believed that they could raise all of humanity to a point where that didn't matter anymore. Um, however, from what he had saw from your own eyes was most of the gods, that uh, he'd say virtually all of them, had lost their humanity and faded away. He doesn't know where, but apparently, he'll look down at the cat and say that apparently some of them still exist in some form. Which um, he'll, he'll look at the cats and vaguely at them. Um, no. But he says he can't, he can't imagine... Hmm, how do you put it? He says that he doesn't know why they're not actively... Um, he says they're not acting in a consistent manner from what he understands. So obviously there's some sort of fault to this process, which he'll call as a, um, a change. Um, when he does say change, most of you can't hear it. You vaguely hear something, but you, 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 you can feel a breath coming from him, and he says something, but you just can't hear it. It just doesn't translate. What's the spell for He that? stops for a moment and he tells you an English change. Okay. He tells you the mantle is the remaining power from that change. Um, and he's decided to, what is it, try to elevate <coughs> humanity to the point where they can fight <coughs> the things here. And he says, like, builders and um, teaching the chantry and others uh, their forgotten language. I would like he to tells you that the, there was an, a, um, a large reservoir of power in the mantle to make the change happen. Um, Circumstances had allowed him and foresaw that he was going to be here in the future. I don't think he should so the he mantle that's for all humanity for Frong. He's not going to do it for Frong. What is it? He foresaw. What is it? He didn't. He had gained knowledge that he would be here sometime in the future, and he saw that another war was going to happen. So he decided to voluntarily exchange um, information with the Yith providing as much everything that he knew about humanity, their faults, and so on and so forth. In addition, they had to help him get to this point. Okay. Uh, that was the deal that he had made with the, um, the remaining um, yith that were on Mu. Um, so what the hell happens? He tells you that's what the sigils are. And why you couldn't see him initially is he's shrouded from pretty much all detection, and he says that there's a faint amount of you that draws power from a non-human source and thus the ward triggered so you wouldn't be able to see him normally. He says, he probably brought it to Browning. He says Browning still can't see or hear him. Okay. Is there a way that but he comes back then, I would love to look at you. <laughs> he looks around. Um, he picks up a book and kind of I thumbs... I think the response will be, no, he just regrows. I like this guy better. He doesn't regrow it when we got a canoe for a hat. He looks around the room and he picks up, a, what is it, a journal most likely, yeah. kind of fairly thin. He seems to touch it, and you guys feel some sort of strange ripple, but you don't see him do any gestures or anything else of that nature, and it's fairly it's fairly indetectable. You, when he teleports into the room, like no one ever yeah. seemed to notice, even Browning, and at the same time, the only time where you detect any kind of ripple from him was when he's doing something like taking off the mantle. Um, and he hands over, he'll probably do it to two books, like two differently sized books. One of them might be like a, um, uh, what the hell is it, a journal? Another one might be like a, some sort of geography book. And he uh, ends up touching them and he hands them over. Um, he'll tell you that within the pages of those changed books is all of the Mu language. However, possessing that puts you in great risk. He just imagines that you might be able to use it. Can you make more than one copy? Speed reading. He's made two. He says he's oh. ma these are two that he's just made. He's already made some for the order. Um, and he'll leave it at that. Is Walk this an English to Mu type of translation? Or? He says it's purpose is to be understood so the language is not important. Okay. It's a late night. I'm looking over somebody's shoulder. Yeah, I think I'm going to start reading new languages. All right. Thank you very much. <coughs> and our friend, is he going to have a corporal body or is this kind of like releasing him? He says the, the corporal thing wouldn't even be remotely the issue. Um, he said the soul fragment could be reconstituted. 
But do you see that there's any risk where the king in yellow slash frock would be able to then use this as a gate elsewhere, or is there just going to be separate entities, and if they show up, he's going to... He said they're separate them. entities, and uh, there might be a point in time where if the king in yellow identified that the missing piece of him wasn't destroyed, he might try to reclaim him, as he is a small fraction of his remaining power. Could okay. he be shrouded? He could be shrouded. Um... Tattoos he could be shrouded with a new sigil in Hematalian. But it, that's relative. It's depending on how I powerful. Know. Would it be worth shrouding him, or is it... I mean, is the king in yellow probably actively seeking out this missing fragment? He says he finds it unlikely that the king in yellow even knows this exists. It's just, it, should you come into conflict with him at some then, future then, point, then he, would know. he would immediately know it, the this person's true being. Right. He, upon... Being in the area or interacting with him in any significant notion would be immediately aware that this is a piece of him yeah. that was not destroyed. You must have, like, screwed up a ton of your dental floss right before you're just like, nope, <laughs> king of yellow, stealing his body. <laughs> Stuff happened before, so what are you going to do? Other people have been shot or run over by cars. Luckily, the PCs, I was expecting at least somebody to die today. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that didn't happen, so we're all good. Well, what are the odds of you or... For a moment there, I'm pretty sure it was Brenton taking eight rounds from a modified bar. Yep. Trust me, I thought about pulling him back. <laughs> I'm not pulling him back. <laughs> what are the odds of defeating the King in Yellow? He says that he's roughly equivalent to its power. He says that's not even the, the issue because it draws its power from the dead king, or the dead god. So it it's... Part of it could be re always reconstituted until Haster Look, is destroyed. I'll, I'll tell him the star name or whatnot. Abu Fuji star. He tells you that's a star that anchors um, uh, the plateau of Lang in this reality. Okay. And so would that just be an access point to the plateau? <coughs> it's an access point. It also holds it into place here. However, it, for all intents and purposes, it is the very pinnacle power of Haster. So to take down the star would be a direct assault on Haster, which he'll tell you in the past that had been successfully accomplished but from what he understands, whatever happened shortly thereafter, the retributive strike was to taking out all the remaining Mu that hadn't changed. He said only a very small fraction of the Mu, the the strongest or the most capable warriors and scholars and what have you, had. <coughs> he wasn't there for the change. He had gone into seclusion prior to it happening. But from what he understands, a lot of your ancient pantheons were the remnants of the survivors of the new cataclysm. Anyone that had not changed was destroyed in a retributive strike, even the entire continent. So Bass is just a mu you, you. Right. So he'll he'll pause a moment when you say that, and from the, he'll say that he, given from how. Or so, the, so, the, so the statues we saw in the dream. He'll tell you that he knew an Urbast. He does not know a Bast. Okay. However, he, I mean, he doesn't saw it. He doesn't... Uh, he's not a... Uh, it's obvious that he seems to know more about that information, and he's purposely not saying anything. Okay. So if we describe the statues of Sion, he's like, the dreamlands no, with the, the change who are worshiping He'll say from what he had gained from both of your eyes was that um, that there are remnants of okay. Mew... What is it? Essentially the people of Mew that had changed... had been changed by the people to become uh, essentially avatars of human will. Okay. Uh, to fight the outer beings, and apparently there's still remnants of them. He only knows as much as you knew. Okay. So, so some of them could be alive in the dreamlands. He doesn't know why they aren't on Earth anymore. So were you fighting the king in yellow before, or you were fighting Haster before? He says the king in yellow is something that could have been dealt with. They were fighting the gods themselves. Okay. Um, he'll even mention the serpent king, or was it the, the serpent god in parallel to uh, yogg Sagoth that was completely destroyed. Um, such a feat had never been accomplished prior to that. Um, from what he understands, you had a relatively peaceful um, uh, timeline hundreds of thousands of years after the cataclysm, and humans survived, so obviously whatever happened, the changed view were able to stabilize or at least somehow change the pattern here long enough for you to redevelop society. He doesn't just know why they don't exist anymore. Okay. However, from what he understands, the Silver Ladder were some of the council members that uh, had chosen not to elevate. They were afraid that the kings would... And he says in some part they had um, 
expected this to happen, that once you stop becoming a human and you become something else, that you'll slowly lose sight of what you were. So um, he believes that that might have happened, but the Silver Ladder uh, might have escaped, and he says they must have escaped during the Cataclysm deep into the ether, and apparently they're still out there somewhere. So are you telling us that, like, Jesus is in there? <laughs> He, from what he understands, that that's two thousand years ago. The Mew existed one hundred and seventy thousand uh, years ago. <laughs> um, what? Are, what aren't you telling us about Urbast? <coughs> he says he only knows what you know, and he can't confirm that this Urbast has anything specific to do with um, Bast. Yeah. Bast. And he'll tell you that the Urbast that he knew would not have sat idly by and allowed any of this to have occurred. Is there any um, good that will come from um, retrieving Frank oh, and he has like that like sliver in him because like he's not whole? He like, says that he it's not as whole. though the the avatar <laughs> is possessing Frank. It's like he it cut is a fingernail off, right? <coughs> a hangnail. Well, he's talking about the key in yellow specifically. He he explains it as th- it's not as though something's possessing Frank's spirit. Uh, the what he'll say is the king in yellow, an avatar of the dead god, is a form of madness, and he has become he's become permanently changed into that form. He'll equate it to mixing um, uh, what the hell is it? Water and uh, like, salt. No, you get salty water. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is that could be more easily. Like, really, that's how you get it. Kind soap of like <laughs> <laughs> kind of like mixing colored dyes together. Okay. There's no way to pull it apart. He'll tell you similar to the the instance with browning here, but much more so, like that. Um, with the fragment, he could purify and reconstitute Liberté, but... I say yes. Uh, what the hell have you? They, they'll always be connected. They are, in fact, the same entity. It's just now they exist in two places. Um, there is... He doesn't want to misguide you. There is, in fact, a Franck Liberté still existing in this, but the madness is complete So Franck's no longger in... That place. He is. Here. It's just it's overwhelming. He says that he is, but that's the avatar. As far as we spend this much time when every headquarters. PC dies. Not every PC just wants we'll to play you back next time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the hell is it? So it, he'll tell you that the, the two entities will now exist in separate places. Um, the, the creature does draw its power from the plateau of Lang and in, from the dead god. So obviously. It might currently reside there. He managed to inflict some injury upon it, but his uh, priority was ensuring the safety of all the tribunal members. Um, so they had pulled back and able to kind of inject the creature. Okay. So from still at the plateau of Langley? No, no, you can just reconstitute him. Okay. Right now, we can bring him back. He can be alive. Um, He'll tell you that this is. He'll reconstitute that. part of him, but right. there are, there's going to be two francs, and they're I both the real francs. Yeah. One of them is, in fact, at the Plateau of Lang, but he says he's not trapped there. No. It's merely his throne. Right. You should just stop thinking of the other half as from it. will make it easier. Yeah. I mean. He says that might be the best, but he didn't want to um, misconstrue the real facts of it. I understand. So I heard one no vote from Jeb. I heard a no vote from over here. Be. We've tried forever to do this, yeah. I thought we have, but... That means it's up to Browning. He has to break the tie. I wonder what he'll vote. <laughs> <laughs> Down with Fry. Never liked that guy. It's like, at, at this point, a probable ask goes off Fair, in Browning's he never re- no. <laughs> Browning was on the scene afterwards. He never met Frock. They were never That's in right. the same room. Yeah, he's like, cool. Browning was there after, like a few days after that the other guy died. So... If you guys want to bring him back, I'll be, I'll go with you. But we don't have to go anywhere. He's just I know. That's why right I mean, I'll go in with you. But why don't you want to bring him back? He never liked him. That's why. Because yeah, then I'm gonna have to start it's all over again him. and try to kill him. It's not gonna be the same type of. Why do you guys start over and try to kill him? Because <laughs> it's just gonna be 100 percent Frank. Maybe this would be a kinder, gentler, more re- Relatable for him. You're putting a lot yeah, of faith right. into that. Right. After he, being, you got to remember mixed. that. I mean, he kind of redeemed himself here at the end. I mean, I, no, I, I agree with you at the beginning. And, you know, I, I would have probably been choking there. Choking there there were with you, but. many times that he came through, and even when we fought the king in yellow, he stepped up to the plate, yeah. tried to put the 
I do believe he jumped up there to save someone. I, he jumped up there too, but I got my butt mm-hmm. kicked. Sid jumped up after him to save up. you. Yeah. Part of it was that one by one Chuck Norris ninja thing. Is like yeah. you guys should have all ganged, <laughs> ganged on the guy rather than one by one Q. He's like, all right, smack next guy, <laughs> that guy too. <laughs> no cutsies. <laughs> Whatever. I hear a lot of <laughs> Sunday morning quarterback and. <laughs> I'll. All right. All right. He takes a amount of make it so. He clears off a bed, and he spends a little bit of time concentrating. Uh, it's the first time I've actually actively seen him concentrate on anything, really. Okay. Um, there seems to be some power drawing from uh, the, the small um, rune that he has in his hand. It looks like it's etched on the clay, but when it was on his head, it, was, it looked like a tattoo. Okay. Uh, slowly but surely, the figure of Franck Liberté, I'll be uh, nude, appla- what is it, uh, appears oh. on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that about him. <laughs> He seems to be fine. He seems to be breathing. Um, He says it's probably best if you allow him to wake up naturally in the morning. Or (laughs) picking (laughs) up guns and swords. He says that his memories um, will be in. What is it? um, uh, Disconnected. He won't remember anything. He specifically is not going to reconstitute him in a form in which he remembers anything (coughs) prior to uh, what he'll kind of pull from. Uh, so some of your memories. Not mine. What, what is not the, Frank, you what is the last Don't thing? That what is the last thing time? he'll remember? <laughs> he said the last thing he'll remember is going to that party. So now, guys, you guys had that. Sec- what, there was an attractive female who asked him, "Is that a blowgun?" He he's fondling the blowgun and showing her how it works, and he now, shoots himself in the I thigh. I should state that some of you, most of you, have had that completely removed from your memories. But he does seem to throw a few details that you're not, you don't remember happening. You don't know how he knows that. But you had heard that the, some, I remember, right? some sorts of mat. I remember yeah. there was a party and we had a good time at the end. Yeah, there was punch and pie. When, when I'll let him know if there's any the thoughts in mind. Get it out that. He we just had, woke up. We had a good it took time a while. And that's it. He might have drank or something. He'll spend some time. He can find a fragment of madness that is hiding within your mind. Yeah. Um, he says it's really minor. It's mostly been destroyed, but um, he I'll can stay. remove the remaining. I'll stand in line. <laughs> <laughs> you remember having a no. nice party and eating punch and pie. <laughs> he finds similar within you. Uh, none of the other PCs he finds anything in. Okay. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Oh. Yep. She I, never... I it was only... Been, what is it? You didn't er- remember I should suppose Erickson. He would find something in Erickson yeah. as well. Fail at profes- all of his willpower rolls and... Yep. Like, the, the professor never even saw all the original <laughs> dreams there. Full on. He's dead. He's alive. You can, yep. Why do you guys keep saying he's alive? Yep, there's certain people, depending on their uh, memory and their ability to have edict memory, had better recollections of what happened, and that's what he finds. All right. All right. Otherwise, he'll tell you that he's going to continue to work with the Chantry and what he can with MI5 and the Bureau of Water Reclamation. However, he doesn't want to be in one place for any long period of time because he fears that... Can we ask you two uh, more questions? He will. He'll he'll tell you that he doesn't want to stay in one place for any terribly long period of time just because... He fears the retribution on a specific area, especially if they're going to be pulling in their yep. A-listers to kind of deal with the situation. Yep. Um, so first is the way our magics work, we can build a paradox because it doesn't jive with the reality of the world. Is that true for the Mew language as well? Or is that outside of that? He situation? said that it's, uh, what is the Mew language, um, how he would equate it to you is it's pre-rifle ban and provided the, si- the only thing is your spelling could drastically alter the effects, and while you would initially have the same type of paradox, you could miswrite the words and have an immediate effect that is negative. Okay, but that would be more of a misuse of the language as opposed to yep. using the language and accumulating negative. He tells effects. you that um, eventually, when you become more skilled, you'll be able to say the language, but it takes some time to be able to do that. Right. Um, from what you understand, you. You somewhat heard something. You're not sure. Maybe you're mistaken. And you had also heard that Riker um, spent so much time with yeah. the Silver Ladder that he said he could almost hear what they were saying, but it was very faint. And he'll tell you that at one point in time you'll be able to speak the language. Um, and he says that it doesn't take... What is it? And he says that someday you might live long enough where you don't need the language anymore. Okay. Uh, but prior to that, he says if you write the runes correctly, then you shouldn't run into paradox. Okay. At least his understanding. And then if you've already accumulated Paradox or accumulated in the future, the two don't intermingle any longer, correct? No. Okay. So in the thir- 
third question I have is the book itself. Do you have a kind of the primer? So you want to start here, or you know, do we just jump right to disintegration? He says it's a dictionary. It's <laughs> ordered in certain areas, but you, he says, open it where you feel like you want to open it. If you want to look for D's, then open to where you think is D. Okay. And Mass destruction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's where we're flipping to. I just I don't need to know how to get there. mind to control. Up. What are the instructions to like um, take care of Frank so that? This doesn't Water, happen. sunshine, <laughs> plant food, <laughs> a salt party. You should feed him three meals a day, and you should wipe. He said that there's nothing. Uh, was it for the most part? This is metaphysically Franck Liberté. That there's nothing mm-hmm. that he only repaired some of the dings and dents that were left behind using the mantle. Still pretty fucked but this up. This still <laughs> is Franck Liberté. <laughs> So there's nothing Where's his stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we get the stuff? <laughs> the professor needs some alone time. So he said there's nothing different that you had to do. How to stop something like this in the future? And he says, I mean, you always risk something like this working, what was it, encountering outer, yeah. outer, um, what was it, elder things, not elder things. but Next time we get in party to invite, we just got to remember we don't go to the party. We instead go early and assassinate the guy who gave us the invitation. Well, we burned down the mansion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's the purpose of stacking sigils? He says that um, the first language is written in a format where the letters literally fall down into um, what he would say is um, metaphysical space or an etheric space. So he says that full sentences are collaborated by written o- being written over each other. So he says if you're creating a complex rune or specific magic, it, it's written all over each other until a point where you might not be able to read it if you're not trained in it. Uh, so when you're looking at a character, if they're stacked yeah. in some of sort of extra dimension, you're looking at like, well, that's kind of a blob. That's the edge of a change symbol, but I don't know what the rest of the shit is. Apparently, it's a full sentence or paragraph. Yeah. If you try You've seen yeah. things like that before where it looked like they were like, well, it looks like Shroud, but there's something weird about it. Or it looks like Change, but there's a bunch of weird sigils. Th- there must be extra symbols that are drawn underneath it. Yeah. As in, say, what if you had ice and then disintegrate? Disintegrate ice, and then you're on an uh, a Arctic ice shelf. Well, there you go. It doesn't hit anything you don't want it to. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, he tells you that there is some remaining power to the mantle. Um, for finding him and uh, risking your lives, he'll give you the remaining piece. Um, otherwise, he'll be roughly in contact. He says um, the best. I should all my friends quickly so I can grab it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll place it on the table if anyone runs for it and calls him. Subjects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching because I know there we got to, you know. Um, otherwise, he said that... Um, Wrong campaign. The easiest, no. the easiest way to contact him will be through the Chantry um, itself, but he can't promise that he's going to be able to yeah. be available immediately. Is, is whatever's left in the mantle enough for one person or a couple people? He says nothing to um, make the change like they had in the past, but... One could temporarily become more than themselves. Um, so he would say that um, so you would that use it to build some million great message. machine or um, to temporarily stop something that you don't want to happen. Is this going to attract... I, I'll i show him a quintessence block and be like, is it similar to this where in high groups it's going to attract things from other dimensions? He says the, the mantle itself is partially shrouded, so it won't show up. But he says that anyone with the proper knowledge, knowing that you have such an access to new language, you might be put on the same eradication list that he is luckily on. Can we use it to understand the language faster? He says the book is what he would equate to as a dictionary. He's changed the nature of the book. So it doesn't, he says it doesn't matter how many pages are in it or yep, anything I else got of that one. nature. The book? I played Slapjack. Oh, fine. You gotta, there was two books. Well, we're all going to share the book. I'm looking over his shoulder. Mantle. <laughs> what, is, what is this, the time you're getting on the boat? <laughs> I want to read the moon language. That's totally different than magic. <laughs> <laughs> there was a version that it seemed, like I said before, there's a version that the Silver Ladder used in their engineering, and Walter Riker supposedly used a few characters in that language to build that ring, which from you understand is some sort of pinnacle of technology. Exactly. Um, or theoretical pinnacle, at least relative to your perspective. I mean, at Star Trek, you're like, well, we still don't have, like, anti what is it, um, shit to, like, unmake the universe, but 
when you're like warping around at warp speed and you're like teleporters and force fields and it's like oh yeah that's kind of high level. <laughs> Just kind of. Damn it, Otherwise, he'll ask you if there's anything else that he can help you with. Good luck. Like we're forgetting something. <coughs> Demon. <coughs> Demon. Hey, Around you your, ser- your services are no longer rendered here. By <laughs> you've been fired. Can you take care of Browning and Browning's twi? All right. Can you we change can, time can, so I didn't demon. cast a fold space at X time during our encounter with the wind beasties? He says, "What are you trying to do? Get rid of the part where I saved Prong or saved um, Browning." Browning. Mm-hmm. He would tell you that if kind you of. Kill Browning, just kill Browning. You don't have to expend that kind of energy to get rid of Browning. <laughs> that way, I never feel bad. He's not going to use oh his power goodness. for you to assassinate one of your team members, regardless of their origin. Apparently, he has saved you from what he has seen in your eyes before, um, and he's wary of using magic in that manner because he would survive any kind of backlash that well, altering your history might do. Anyone? But he can't guarantee what? that no. you're going to survive <laughs> what? changes in your past. Browning. There can only be one character per player. Otherwise, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you must choose. What do you think's going to happen to him? <laughs> <What? laughs> We're just going to have guns to bolt their heads. You must choose. Who are you talking Mr. to? Browning owns Browning. I mean, Browning could assist some days. Otherwise, he'll wish you luck and tell you to just remember that, um, I mean, and. In the past, your ancestors destroyed God, so... Yeah. we got a long way to go. Always have hope. <laughs> they had fewer points than we did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. He shakes his head as he looks over our characters. All right. Otherwise, he seems to disappear once again. Um, he, it happens automatically. You don't see that same, like, slow light. That's probably was for your benefit, if anything. Otherwise, he's gone. Nobody in the Chantry has run in saying that a ward has been breached or anything else of that nature. Yeah. It might be the shroud that he has on his person that is allowing him to bypass wards. Um, but otherwise, he seems to be gone at this point. The books still have... The books don't register as magic for whatever reason, um, but flipping through pages, there's page upon page. It seems to be some sort of infinite book. Mechanically, what I'll tell you is you can tell me what words you're searching for, and we can work on the meaning... So you can put points into spells that you want. Ooh, Beaming thoughts. It's still magic. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, start buying that power up. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's other new sigils that apparently have been technicalized, if you will. Yeah. And they're used using technical skills. Very so cool. mutex. Now, given their backgrounds, they're probably going to use these mu sigils as a form of spell. But it doesn't mean that somebody that knows them couldn't use them with some other stat other than power, meaning an IQ-based sigil. From what you understand, you only have to draw them, so you might be able to purchase these that are not power-based. Huh. Maybe. Still Maybe smells not. like magic. Still <laughs> smells right. like magic. Alright, I'm all over it. I'm looking over the shoulders. I okay. share the book. I'm I uh, actually have to go work in the transatlantic gate, but I would like to. I want to look up the one that says for like a like mind ward or mind barrier. Okay. I you can find mental. Um, Seems like we always are fighting the last war instead of the next war. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always that one that's not going to get us, though. No. <laughs> because we're going to be like, all right, we're all mind mentaled up and we're going to yeah. go see the and, demons. And then, and it's be like, no, we were totally shit. And then like, they get like, the on <laughs> on <holy. laughs> Or the circumstances, bullets. <laughs> exactly. High tech bullets. <laughs> like magic. That's what we need here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Didn't need it at all. Lots of tentacles. We're always chasing the last adventure. All right. So we'll kind of go into downtime depending on what the PCs are doing. Uh, like I said, the other significant event that you're aware of, shit could happen like in three days from now and uh, change what you're deciding to do. But Browning does slowly recover. Um, the Chantry didn't heal him up, but it seems as though he can regrow bits and pieces of his person. Uh, ben can decide which character he wants to play. He can update Frank um, with new points. It's just it takes a while for this new stuff to set in. Ultimately, he's kind of spending downtime, like, relearning stuff, and he just has a gap in his he's, memory. He's over there. I think you should make him like the Spock that had amnesia. <laughs> Were you my 
friends? <laughs> <laughs> he remembers everything up until kind of that time period where shit went south. Hey guys, I don't like, like Kodak Town. I don't like Broadway or plays in general. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I suppose you, you said, what is it? We can go into weeks at this point if you guys want to. Sure. Is there a letter for telepathy or some variety of mm-hmm. like. What he was doing, where you could just understand what he was purveying without language. Unfortunately, you don't know what he did specifically, but you could find something you like telepathy. Asked him that instead of assassinating Brown. <laughs> 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 to Come on, now. it was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he wanted to go back in time to have the assassination, yep. so that he didn't I feel guilty. I used my wish to kill Browning. Oh shit! I wanted a lightsaber. I want a lightsaber. Can I take that back? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as I said before, you said that you wanted to do a few yeah, things. No, my wish you had mentioned sending off a copy it. to MI5, or I just at least don't want to save um, trying to contact them. Yep. Uh, they do have a um, shortwave radio system that is still working perfectly to London. Uh, it's it just open channel. I put it through the open channel. Okay. After some time, you can get contact. It doesn't seem like the deep ones have really hammered in on intercepting. Um, radio signals so much, and they do use coded phrases and other things of that nature. And there, I would say that there might be some encrypted channels interior, but across the seas, no. There hasn't been any kind of major yeah. manipulation like that. Um, it's just um, mystically they've been shut down pretty good. <laughs> How are we going to like tell everyone to shut up about Frank dying? Like, <laughs> don't take Frank to the graveyard. Everyone shut the hell up about him being dead. What do you mean? i got to set some right here. Look. What's going to happen? <laughs> He's going to walk into Chantry and they're going to kill him. And we're going to have to do this shit all over the again. The Chantry, I will say, does not know anything about <laughs> Frank. Then let's tell him. We pat him on the back and send him. Go into the hallway. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we can't we gotta give him a mask first. <laughs> <laughs> you no, no, probably no. will want to tell Michael Larson before We dress him in him. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> You probably don't want to tell Michael Lorson prior to having him leave here. Smelling his stuff around. Yeah. This will be hilarious. Oh yeah. my goodness, he's just, burning, he's just burning Shut boots. Him. So you're trying to sneak him out of here? Or? <laughs> we can hold the Larson with the town So I said, Larson, he says that he's a bit surprised. I mean, but what he's seen before, it doesn't seem completely out of some sort of ancient muse um, wheelhouse. He says that just keep an eye on him because he doesn't know specifically how he had been reconstituted. He's definitely not as um, optimistic about Lana was it, as, as Lana was about the whole process, but so just watch him. Mm-hmm. Uh, beyond that, he will update the information. His molecules was taken from this, a dead person. Just so you know. He says that if Frank ever comes to the Chantry, he needs to be with at least two of you. Three. He won't be let in otherwise. Okay. From his understanding, there's what another one of these running. <laughs> He'll say these, like kind of yeah. <laughs> like dehumanizing Frank, but it'd be like, what are these <laughs> running around? <laughs> totally understood. <laughs> he wants to go be with Bruce anyways, so send him over to Chicago. I know um, went about loafers it's right hilarious how so you guys <laughs> keep trying to make me the hated player, but Ben just <laughs> Ben's like spotlight. I know, and you've been you've been trying your best. <laughs> <laughs> And Cheryl Evans, guys, what's next? <laughs> to be fair, we hate Ben's characters, and we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate your character. <laughs> okay. All right. So, over the next if few days... If you can play Ben's characters, everything will be okay. <laughs> you get information. There is a um, uh, stateside... What is it? Uh, how are you getting, is getting back? Was it you go to the Chantry or driving back to what have you? New York. Chantry is in Boston. Yep. Is that exit still available? Yes, it is. Go to Boston, rent a car, drive it to New York. Unless right. somebody wants to... You're going to hire the next guy. You can be my number two. Can you, can, can you stop talking about that? <laughs> Over the next day and a half, um, Hunter, you feel as though... There's an anchor that kind of keeps you in space at any point in time for any particular object. You feel as though you're always on an active sigil. Okay. You haven't run across randomly teleporting anything yet, right. but you always feel as though you're you're moving around on ice. Okay. Um, I want to just put on my bathrobe, put some cleaning boxes on my feet, <laughs> shuffle around in the dark. <laughs> you That's haven't, you 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 haven't had this it. specific thing happen from yeah. the same feeling, but it feels... Un- disconcerting. It feels as though if you were to teleport, you can't stop yourself at the end, or 
Okay. If, I'll try to talk if to If somebody surprised you, like a kid came up and he's like, boo! And you're like, gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I'll try to talk to other trans post people. Okay. You see what they'll fast. tell you is you have uh, now a uh, stress related. Um, what the hell is it? So you have had something like similar like this before, a stress-related yeah. uh, teleport. Also, they believe that there is a multiplicative effect if you attempt to transpose or use spatial magics around your person, meaning if you try to teleport to, say, Russia, you might end up in China, Bangladesh, Turkey, and then Australia. Are, are you sure Russia just wouldn't end up here? They don't think so. They think that he's the loose... He's a marble on a glass floor. He's not going to be able to stop on a dime. Uh, they don't know how long that's going to last, but they suggest that you do not do anything reg <laughs> regarding spatial magic for some time. They tell you it's lucky that you didn't conjure some sort of uh, paradox spirit or even rip yourself apart spatially, sending bits and pieces of you to other I've already done places. that once. <laughs> yeah. They tell you it's a good idea that you probably didn't use teleportation magic when you're fighting within the Chantry. There Otherwise it could have been a little bit worse. There you go, see I go shuffling away. <laughs> One of your boxes disappears <laughs> off your feet. <laughs> you get a contact in. That appears on your head. You get a name. I was in a contact it name it for MI5 in Brooklyn, oh, okay. which you can bring one of the weapons into. Uh, depending on when you wanted to do that. That's what I do. Um, I try to do it before the gate. But like I said, up. you have two days. Um, after the one and a half days you guys took to clean up bodies and okay. things of that nature. If you want a second one, you can take that too. I, I won't need it. Basically, I bring in and I say, do you know who this was sold to? I can tell you that it ended up in the hands of a... Of a maid. Uh, like Nepal. Nepalese. Nepalese. Cho. 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 And... It does seem like the individual does seem to have some sort of file on you prior to arriving. You do kind of see um, a picture of you from a newspaper clipping that he might have been reading, reading prior to you getting here. Um, but he has you kind of close the door behind you, and he calls his assistant and tells him that he's not going to be taking any other calls right now. He tells you, after taking a look, that these are, in fact, MI5 weapons. They've been developed in probably the last three or four weeks. Um, he checks the shipping number. He says they're called Hades Bane. They were developed specifically against, um, <coughs> what is it, uh, Deep, Deep One Ones. Sorcerers. They often <laughs> use deflect oh, harm. Okay. They stopped or outright changed the direction of bullets. Um, they could alter matter and make themselves extremely um, resilient to physical harm. So tell but me about the crystal bullets and tell me about the others. He tells How you it's a varium of premium. It's premium K. Mm -hmm. It works similarly to thomium, other than it still um, resonates like premium, so it affects certain supernatural creatures. <coughs> I don't know why it does, but it does. The material itself seems to cut through magic. Um, it can't, what is it, it's difficult to teleport or anything else of that nature, any kind of uh, direct um, thing right there. They only have, they'll probably tell you about 120 of these out, uh, most of them being inside of London. The issue with it is um, the gun itself is easy to manufacture, but the rounds themselves are probably like firing off platinum slugs. Each right. round is close to about, equivalent of modern day, probably about $6,000. Each round? Each round, here he would tell you they cost about 600 per round. They're still trying to research ways. They've proven extremely um, effective against the enemy. It's just they need some way of lowering down the manufacturing cheap, process. Cheap. Yeah, what you should do is fire a smaller head and use it as a sliver gun. They, tell them. they say that the deep ones are so thick and robust that they needed a round that two or three rounds could put them down. They don't need to be sitting there multiple rounds after round, but they're still doing shit at them. I thought the laser guns worked well against the deep ones. They do. They did. What are the they originally star, did. Magic, this is the white bar rounds. I say, what's in the blue bar? Is that normal rounds? Uh, they tell you that it is. Six hundred bucks a round. I ain't giving them to you guys. You freaking pedal them off to platypus the first second chance you get. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get for these premium rounds? Third dollars for the bag of peanuts. Done. <laughs> <laughs> we got. I got uh, bag of the material the is necoquium. It's yeah. incredibly uh, aquaphobic. Uh, the round penetrates and otherwise does not slow down in a watery environment. Uh, he says that they can penetrate thousands of meters underwater. Gotcha. Why? 
Because they fight because underwater. underwater. They fight underwater. Yeah, no, I mean, like, is it magically based or technologically based? Why does that? From the understanding, he's giving you schematics, these technical yeah, organizations. Tech. They only are aware that it seems to cut through magic. They don't know too, like, uh, it's effective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they hopefully don't seem to have a strong magical background. Does it look like metal, the snickaquium? It, it seems to be a solid blue metal. Uh, it's opaque. It, it's not that crystally structure yeah. that the oh is it premium oh, is that and the it, premium though. K is actually a white metal and apparently they put it in some sort of uh, nitrogen kind of crystal so it fragments upon impact and the, they'll tell you that the creatures can't <laughs> <laughs> we see well, deep ones we never really take it off <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll point to that that they've seen them heal themselves but yeah. if the round breaks up inside of their torso they can't heal exactly I see so how do these fall into the hands of Police He'll shirtless. check the numbers, and it probably takes him several hours to kind of confirm. Apparently, this is part of a shipment of seven that were sent to um, inside of Brooklyn to the uh, uh, Rainbow Division. He doesn't. He said that they were in use prior to then, but they have been. Okay. These are older ones that they were being sent over to the was the Department of Water and Reclamation. He says four of them. Apparently had gone, uh, what he'll tell you is Ohio, as he lists where they went to. Yeah. The remaining were put here in Brooklyn to test it against, he says, um, he'll double check your file again, and he'll tell you to, uh, what is it, to test on, um, he wouldn't say demons, he would say... Uh, um, Spirit folk? I'm sure if they have that. It's okay, they just say demons, I say. They have a code word for it, but he'll, he'll tell you to test them on demons, because they have similar, they've seen magical usage before, premium seems to work on them. Um, he'll end up calling, what the hell is it, um, Ash, I think Ash Smith, the colonel of the Rainbow Division. Um, and he says that apparently two of their agents went missing in roughly a seven block area. They were never really able to recover the, air, oh, is it the body? But he gives you the rough seven blocks. They've been currently looking for the, the um, probably the four, is it the six man team? Two of the weapons were apparently here and they said they lost track of them probably about a month ago. Okay. Didn't take them long to crap if I am and put finishes on them, so... Alright. I'm guessing the upper opening the demons beat them up. Yeah. Alright. Apparently there's an investigation currently about where specifically it happened. He'll give you the seven blocks that that's, they supposedly lost radio contact with them. Can these be fired by a standard primer charge at the base, or do they have to be electrically fired? Um, he says that the electrical firing allows you to f carry the same amount of weighted ammunition. It's just that provides a thorough burn. Um, you'd have to recase them, but they could be fired in something else. All right. Thank you. It's just the plasma evenly burns and it creates a much more um, effective hit on the far end. Does he want it back or can I keep it? Um, he'll kind of take a look at it. He doesn't see anything immediately that would tell him what happened to it other than he does want to know who specifically was holding this, where it had gotten to. Um, I tell him. Give him all the details. He writes all these details. Looks like he's going to forward it up and write up a report. Absolutely. Um, he will take photographs of it. Um, he probably... He says that um, he wouldn't mind taking one of them and doing some other um, technical tests on it to try to determine how these individuals that were fighting the Chantry got a hold of this weapon. Yep. It's yours. Have it. Can I keep the ammo? He says the, he, you can keep the ammo. It's not okay. part of the investigation. All right. He'll take a quick look at it, but he says otherwise no. Okay. Um, the mechanism is not that hard to understand. You could rebuild one of I'll these. I'll rebuild it. The only thing that would be difficult is these rounds to rebuild. Yeah. But at least I could fire So it's similar rounds. to what Hunter said. Like the limiting factor here is the ammunition. Yeah. The gun itself is could be mass produced. I go the back. The thomium used in it is relatively thin in its coating, but cost comparatively to the guns, you're firing platinum slugs at folk. I'll go back to the workshop and try to find out where Walter is and lend him aid. Okay. Turn this over to my crews and tell them to make a gun. I give them the specs and tell them to make it happen if they have a chance. If you don't, okay. I understand. They can put it on the... Pr they don't think replicating the... Based on what you said, replicating the gun should actually take that long. Okay. Um, obviously, in materials engineering, they would have some time figuring it out. They aren't even familiar with what the hell Premium K is. So they'll have to do some inquiries and... Yeah. I don't need to make rounds yet. I just need something to find out. They don't think it should take too long. They might have a working prototype by the end of the week. Okay. Awesome. Um, 
Otherwise, I'd say the next day, depending on what the other PCs are doing as well, Walter Riker will end up getting, uh, what is it, start the process of turning on the transatlantic gate system. All right. I'll just go to my sanctuary outside of Beast facility and I'll read one of the books while she's doing that. All right. It's a big project. She will to show up in this case. Yep. Tries to <coughs> very sure. Very sure. He got some... What do they call that? Let me get... Premonition? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. I send you an invite, a formal invite. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a play afterwards. <laughs> Bring Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be at the sanctuary. All right. I'll read. All right. Like I said before, um, even though this is in the middle of the desert, it seems like there's been some effort to um, set up a base camp here. If anything, you got a kind of feeling as though there's multiple levels of quarantine that you're passing through to get to this point, and uh, there's no structures in the. Uh, I mean, they're, you're looking at a tent camp, um, even though it's a massive one. I mean, it looks like it could theoretically. Uh, in really shitty conditions probably hold a million or so people but it seems as though there's a lot of military presence here in the eye on the or is it in the air on the ground it looks as though if shit hit the fan like they have multiple levels of like burning <laughs> like quarantine area yeah. um, understandably so I mean they're creating some sort of large gate system and they don't they have a strong background in magic like what if they could gain control of it somehow do I have a crystal contact the head guy at the chantry um, Michael Larson is the P, uh, I shouldn't say the PR guy. He's somewhat of the um, administrator of the site, but in actuality, the power is held by the tribunal members. It's just they're so elusive. And I'll contact Michael Larson. Yep. I'll tell him they're doing a very important project for the war effort. We're all technologically inclined. I have a few lower level mages on. Uh, they're probably not even here at this site, but I could use... He'll a stop you and ask you if you're talking about the transatlantic gate system. Yes. He said that there's some people in civilian clothing there. Okay, that's all um, I need to know. He's been made aware of the... Was yep, the Bureau we've got a lot of water, civilians. They'll be in the danger, too, I say. Bureau of Water... And, uh, was it Water Reclamation had specifically requested something like this, uh, magical consultants, yeah. if you will, right. and he sent a team of about 15 people, right. and they're aware of a situation that have more people on all right. uh, backup. All right. Call my laser gun. <laughs> so I don't have to fast draw it. Oh. Otherwise, when you're back at your facility, you straw what appeared to be a strange clockwork armor suit that one of the security guards was running tests on. He was lifting kind of heavy objects and moving around and Who designed it? Um, when you're inquiring about it, uh, what the hell is it? It was in part oh, some of the right. research that Walter Riker had given over to Thomas uh, Winfield, and Thomas Winfield continued the research. Okay, that was Chris's character, right? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm fine with it. Apparently, awesome. they have some sort of powered suit that's moving around now. Other than it looks like they're debugging things on it. Did <laughs> 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 you just set the key teacup an inch to the left? <laughs> All right. All right. Back at the um, the transatlantic gate system, like I said, there's thousands of soldiers here. It seems like they already have stockpiled supplies, kind of just tons and tons of it. Um, there are some minor tests that are um, currently being uh, done by Walter Riker, uh, and there are I would say Jason Eiholt is here too, along with several other members of your team. In addition to Darius North and several scientists from um, the Rainbow Division. Let me see if I have. Before we get it, it's almost 11. Yep, this is, I'm just going to describe one. Oh, here's the, the clockwork. Here's the clockwork suit. I don't want to unplug my thing. So you can run around this direction because I don't want to. Looks like a samurai me. outfit that's been. It does. Mm -hmm. Yep, that yeah, looks pretty cool. All right. Uh, at the test location, ultimately, everything seems to be going fine. Uh, some of the power that they're diverting from uh, this dam uh, f farther up in Nevada um, seems to be pretty powerful. Uh, it definitely must be some sort of piece of hypertech. Um, from your understanding, apparently... I can start my watch. Apparently it's... Okay. Like an hour before the okay. event. Um, what the hell have you... It's obviously been in construction for some time, so... Normal timetable it probably would have been up several years later, but yep. things have been escalated. Uh, from what you can see, 
Uh, after going through various tests and other things of that nature, everything seems to be up and running. Um, after they get power um, set up and they connect to the the um, relay site in London. Currently, London can't open the gate. It's only here that can open and stabilize the gate. All the power runs through this uh, side and goes to that side. Yeah. So there's no way of them opening it up in an emergency uh, right now. They plan on at least having some way of something happening like that in the future, but right now it's just not feasible on their side. Yeah. Um, the gate seems to uh, flicker on, and you're looking at, I mean, like I said, it's probably about 50 feet high along with um, enough room for about six lanes of traffic to go through. You can see that there's automated, there's, there's a physical gate in place. It's very large. It seems you can identify what appears to be um, explosives nearby that could dismantle the gate, but it does look like they're module, like they would take them away later on. Yeah. Um, the gate does ultimately kind of come online. There's a change in pressure. Um, checking things out, Ultra Riker is able to um, make sure everything's up and running um, smoothly. And it's very impressive because ultimately there's a now a window that stabilizes to London where they start receiving shipments on the other side. And you're looking at people in London in real time and shipments, the food stuff. They're not sending anything living right now, yep. but they're sending over food stuff, so extra supplies. Um, things of that nature, ammunition, yada, 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 uh, through the six-lane highway, and they're continuing on, and they're monitoring, and this starts, this continues for hours on end. Yep. They shut it off, they restart it, and so on and so forth, and they think that the first trial is a, a massive success. success. Everyone's kind of shaking Walter Riker's hands. Everyone's very happy. Um, I'm looking on the sky. Uh, Something's going to happen. Yep. So okay. far, nothing happens. The day All wraps right. up. Um, they're going to be trying to move people in. Walter Riker's um, confident that uh, he, he doesn't have a strong mystical background, but he doesn't, what is it, the people here from the Order don't think that the uh, the Deep Ones would have a, a solid way to even detect it. Not only detect it, but interact with it in any kind of sleeping fashion, other than breaking one of the gates. Right. Um, and the amount of power that's running through would take a lot of af concentrated effort on their part, even if they knew what they were doing, to bring down the system. Okay. If anything, it's most likely some sort of technological failure that's going to bring this down. Right. Or a bomb, Smooth or something else of that nature. Yep. Tink. Love Otherwise, it. you guys can think of things that you want to do for the uh, next uh, week or so. Walter Riker, the technology is based on the portal that you guys have gone through, so technically speaking, he's already tested this for yep. living entities. And they're going to start taking on refugees in the next week. So there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people that are... Coming from a cold, cool climate to live in the dry desert climate. Well, there's a lot less monsters from the sea trying to eat you, so they'll it's, probably it's deal with it. It's not a whole acclimation. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. take them, just push them into Montana. There you go. There's a lot of space out there. They can etch out a living uh, on there. Seattle. Otherwise, uh, I'll give everyone three points, and I will stop the recording there.